Yes. Yes, today is a momentous day, chat. Yes. It's finally time for all you to pay up. For all the free content you've been observing this entire time. Well, guess what? It wasn't free. None of it was free the whole time. Not what you've been breaking the law, man. You've been actually really breaking the law. Believe it or not, it's illegal to watch this stream without paying money, and it's also not illegal for me to not tell you that. So that's right. Huh? Worry less about hawing, more about giving me what you owe. Now. Right now! Now! Hand it over. You wouldn't- I wouldn't steal a car. <laughs> yeah, damn right. Damn right. But I do believe most of us can agree that if you could download cars, I mean... I would. Probably. I would. I, w I probably would. I would. Yeah, actually, I definitely would. <laughs> Wait, yeah, I, w I would. I would ab instantly would. I wouldn't. I'd get a virus. You think you'd get a virus on your car? What if you illegally 3D print a Hot Wheels car? Uh, probably nothing. Hot Wheels probably doesn't care very much. I think Hot Wheels is busy. Like, I don't... I think less would happen to you if you 3D printed a Hot Wheels car. Like, I don't think any... Like, if you're looking out your window after you print a Hot Wheels car and you're like, ah, I can't wait for those rascals to come around the corner and get me. You might be waiting a long time, maybe forever. <laughs> is Hot Wheels still a thing? I believe Hot Wheels is one of those brands that at this point is timeless and cannot die. Uh, it's timeless. It will never go. Like Lego. They are, they make a lot of money. What about Bionicles? Bro. 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 Bionicles were cool. Bro. Is Mega Bloks timeless? <laughs> is Mega Bloks timeless? Dude, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. What you get? <laughs> huh? What the hell did you just say to me? The only thing timeless is Fortnite, brother. Dude, there's a Monster Hunter game that's like currently available to like play like 10 hours of if you give EA five of your dollars that has Fortnite in it. Isn't that epic? They put Fortnite in it. You can build blocks. It doesn't actually look that bad. But I, I the, dude, here's the problem. I, I actually, I do not think that there, there's anything wrong with the business practice of being like, play $10 of the game, like 10 hours of the game for like $5. And then like you get a discount on the game afterwards and make that money back anyways, like a free like demo that lasts way longer. There's nothing innately wrong with it, but uh, it might be the most stressful fucking idea for a demo ever. I literally couldn't pick it up to touch it. I literally couldn't because the whole time I'd be like, what if I need to go to the bathroom? Should I like Alt F4? If I have to poop, do I Alt F4? Because like, I'm not gonna, like what if it's a whole situation? Like I'm gonna cut into my time. I don't like the pressure. Every time I die in that case, I'd constantly be like angrier and angrier. Cause I'd be like every moment 
I spend dying is a moment I lose permanently forever. It's gone. Forever and ever. The streamer is gonna hate when he learns about mortality. Huh? What? What are you talking about? What do you mean? What? You guys aren't immortal? Kind of cringe. Kind of cringe. I thought everyone just kept on going. Tomato is 60 soon. Life goes by so fast. I am 26 years young. Okay. <laughs> and I'd appreciate if you remember that. Thank you. Only old people say so and so years young. Nuh-uh. I've always said that ever since I was one years young. Ever since I could talk fluently at one years young. My guy. And that's real and true and based on my life experiences. He hasn't improved his language skills in 25 years. Dude, anyone who says based on what after I literally said based, like what it was based on is a fucking absolute clown and you are a goddamn parrot. I don't know why I came at you like that, but I felt like it had to be said because I literally set you up and teed you up so you didn't have to fucking say it and you still said it. You are a goddamn, you are a parrot. Think for yourself. Pathetic. Old person range. <laughs> Dude, it's been, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> Parrot on what? Fuck, man. Oh, ugh, ugh. But yeah, uh, I reckon today's stream is going to be quite chaotic. Uh, it may even get a little rowdy. I ask all of you simply to understand that uh, nothing personal, all right? But if you gotta, if you gotta go down, you gotta go down. Okay, nothing personal. Nothing personal, but I will fucking absolutely throw any of you under the bus in a fucking instant. This is gonna this game's gonna be a Twitch extension game. You're gonna want Twitch extension shit ready to go. Alright. I will try to do as best as I can by all of you until you are no longer being helpful, and then I will defund you. I will defund you hard. I will immediately defund you. Your budget will be gone. Instantly. Twitch extension. I'm on mobile, silly. Oh, that's uh, a big old load of <laughs> not my problem. <laughs> hey, man. I'm sorry. But, uh, the price you pay for convenience is, uh, you don't get to play the game. I believe is what happened. I think that's the price you pay for ultimate convenience and accessibility. 
is that you don't get to a uh, actually conveniently access the video game. Can't play, can't lose. I do believe this game is partially a cooperative effort. Uh, I don't actually know a ton about it. I was uh, referred to it by Sam. I do believe there is some extent of like, we, are, we all benefit if we work together. I do believe. Now I have the full version of the game. I don't have a demo. I have the, I have a full version. Uh, provided to me by Sam. <laughs> I don't have to say the devs. It was per it was handed to me by Sam. So I don't have to I don't have to disclose shit. Okay. It was give it was provided to me by Sam Strippin, who I guess made this. You 100% do not benefit unless someone is getting fucked or you are saving your own ass. Dude, I am the king of saving my own ass. So keep an eye out, chat. You're about to see the fucking master at work. No one covers their back quite like I do, dude. No, I've always got a backup plan. We're gonna be fine. Tomato, you are the king of throwing smash. I'm the, the but the, but remember the fucking uh, extra word in there, king. All right, you can't deny that I have quite kingly traits for that specific thing. Kings get beheaded. Wrong. Wrong. Wrong, dude. Guil itione. Guil itione time. Oh, mega lol. Guil itione time. Damn, dude, no amount of fucking autocorrects could save you from that one, dude. Twitch sent you out to die. Illiterate peasant RP. I don't know. So I don't know, like, I know that how it works is like, chat, you'll all be get put into like houses, like branches of this, the country and vote on various things. And I have my own powers and get to make my own unique decisions, but everyone gets put into like their own, like three separate houses. Uh, so you're all vying for your own shit. And I'm like, kind of like the, the judge and the jury and the executioner. And you guys all just kind of hang out while I play the game and don't do anything. I do everything. We vote, <laughs> and your vote matters. Don't worry, chat. Your vote matters. It's definitely going to matter. Yes. Your money does matter, though. And believe me, chat, I'm going... I will go on the record right now and say something that no other streamer can say. I will take real money bribes to throw this game in the direction of the house that pays me the most real money. I will. That I can assure you. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that, but that would be fucking, that would be a real Chad move. That'd be badass if I did, though. But he is secretly going to do that. All I have to cover here is that I, uh, 
I now will get on record and say that I won't be doing that at all. And anyone that gives me money is exclusively simply donating to the stream. And anything that happens as a direct result of those donations is simply a bit or a goof. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Sierra Fox, thanks for the raid. Thank you, very kind of you. Very kind of you, thank you very much. Thank you, very good stream. Thank you. Birthday? Is it someone's birthday? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Whenever someone says birthday anything, I assume at some point that someone in chat spread the lie that it is yet again my birthday, and it is. It is. As well. And it is. No, as well. You want a medal? I take one. I I I, I would. I would take one. Thank you. He's 62 years young. 27 years young. If we're following the most recent age I've said out, out loud, followed by saying that it was my birthday. Thank you. 72. Stop! Ugh. Ugh. It's gonna be fine. Chat, you guys are really taking- you guys are really starting fast, cause like... I don't know if I've been taking so many swings at me when your financial fortune relies exclusively off of me today. I'm not sure I'd be taking so many swings at me. You guys know that despite my old age, I have incredible memory. And- and more importantly, an incredible, incredible endurance when it comes to holding grudges. Specifically that. Alright, I hold grudges and am spiteful like no one else. Like a dwarf. Okay. Unionized. I don't like seeing that kind of language in the chat. <laughs> I, I don't want to see anyone yelling that in all caps ever again while this stream is happening. Okay, no more of that. Get that out of here. Stay shattered and uncoordinated for just a bit longer. Don't say it. Don't say it. I feel like Tomato would love Crusader Kings. Believe it or not, I actually am the opposite. I fucking loathe Crusader Kings. I loathe it. I think it's uh, wildly cumbersome to play and it's kind of not very well formatted at all. It kind of feels more like a joke than an actual game. And it's also made by Paradox, who, uh, who actively have some of the most anti-consumer DLC fucking nickel and dime practices I've seen since The Sims 4. But they do it for every game. <laughs> Up there with Payday. But at least, at least with Payday, uh, I like the game. <laughs> At least with Payday 2, I justify it by saying I'm addicted and like the game. Payday gets a pass because I'm biased. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yes.
Tomato, can you pause the stream? My dad needs to pee. I've had a lot of, can you pause the stream? I need to go cook food. I need to go like do a chore. I've never had one where it's, can you pause the stream? Someone unrelated to it needs to do something. Can you pause the stream? Uh, the stream, I think the someone's, uh, someone's gotta like go upstairs and grab something. It's never, it's not even you. What do you mean? <laughs> you pause the stream, my grandpa's cat. No, dude, not his cat, dude. His cat, I would pause the stream. If, if his cat wasn't feeling good, your granddad's old cat, I would stop the stream in a fucking heartbeat. I would. No, man. But only for like, maybe two minutes. Like a moment of silence. And then nothing. Tell your dad to wear a diaper. Has he learned nothing? <laughs> from, the, from, from the stream conversations we've had, has he learned nothing? Here we go again. Oh, here we go again. Ah, here we go. The streamer talked about the the nasty word again. Dude, I bet a hundred bucks so I'm gonna play that Wild Hearts game after stream today and play it for 10 hours straight, come back in and just be like all sad that I can't. I do, I fucking love Monster Hunter clones. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I swear, some sometimes I play Monster Hunter clones more than I do actual Monster Hunter. It's like bad. I don't know why. He loves Dauntless. Well, I didn't say no, 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 no. No, 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 let's calm down. Let's calm down. But let's also have a moment of silence for Dauntless. Uh, they really did try to fill a hole that Monster Hunter wasn't filling, and then a week after they uh, announced they were coming out, Monster Hunter World was announced. Uh, let's all, uh, <laughs> let's light a candle and remember Dauntless, who got literally owned <laughs> by Capcom. Literally owned. God. Capcom really did them dirty. Do you think like the Dauntless devs showed up at Capcom's like place of business and they were like, hey guys, you're not, promise you're not making a, 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 a Monster Hunter game on PC, okay? And then Capcom might have been like, ah, yeah, no, we're not. And just like chuckle to themselves. And they just kept, Dauntless just kept checking over and over again. Capcom just kept going, yeah, dude, we're not, we're not doing that, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, no. Of course not, man. Dauntless would have been fine if it was an actually good game. Dude, yeah, it wasn't great. I mean, there are parts of Dauntless I liked, but it felt very much like a... And uh, this isn't a fair... Okay, I want to say this in the nicest way possible because there are many games that are made on this engine that are not bad and are actually incredibly good. It felt like a Unity game. It felt like it felt like a Unity mobile game. Uh, I don't think it's fair to use Unity game as a con or like an insult for saying that a game is bad, because there's a lot of cool and really good stuff you can make on Unity, but it felt like a Unity game. The <laughs> bland in design. Yeah, I think that's the problem. You really can't make a bland, boring game anymore. Maybe the devs would have kicked it up more and made something less bland if they didn't think they were going to immediately have the hardest competitor they possibly could to that video game. Which was, of course, World. Uh, the worst possible thing you could compete with. 
uh, as a Monster Hunter game at the time. W literally the worst thing you could do. Ever. Is Tamto going to play Wild Hearts, though? Uh, I'll play it on my own. I'm not going to play it on stream. Those Monster Hunter games, chat, uh, they kind of do miserably uh, for my streams, partially because I, I don't think I'm very fun in them. I think I, I'm too focused on having fun in the game myself. I think they're kind of boring to watch, so uh, I won't be streaming it, but I will play it. The only Monster Hunter game I may stream is Benji. Benji messaged me this cryptic message and he was like, hey dude, uh, Monster Hunter Frontier Z. Multiplayer online. Uh, or some shit. He said something like that to me. The online uh, one is, <laughs> that's the game, I'm pretty sure that's the game that has uh, the monsters that just straight up drop nukes on the map and instantly kill everyone, wiping an entire team in one move. Like every monster, it's it's very dumb. Uh, but Benji messaged me if I was gonna do a Monster Hunter game, it'd be the st it'd be that stupid one that's really goofy. Oh, so hell. I'm so hyper frontier. I actually got a message Benji again because I think the thing was he didn't want to do it until he gets back to the back to the UK. Uh, but if I set up the server for him, because I have a server box, like a real full one, uh, we can actually do it sooner. So I might actually like like pick up the the slack and do it myself if he sends me the stuff. I think he's back next week. Sam, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, actually, well, you're not here for a week, so I'll, I'll wait for you. Uh, I'll wait till you're here. But, uh, I did forget you're on break. Yeah, I'd probably want to do it with you. Okay, I do care. All right, fine. I care. All right, fine. I care. A little. He's just put on the spot, that's all. No, I care. No, wrong. It's okay, Chet. Today, Tomato is overthrown as king. I'm not gonna get owned. The, the stream title specifically says you get owned and you get taxed. Not me. You. You're going to get owned. No taxation without representation. Give me a fucking break, this guy. Jeez, hey. Jesus. Jeez, man. Come on. Jeez. He doesn't know how bad it's going to be as king. I don't really. I didn't look into the game that much. I, I trusted Sam's, uh, Sam's, Sam's firm recommendation of it. You're not getting a union, though. Just back off. <laughs> Just back off. Back off now. I won tomato, so then that makes me believe that the odds are high that I also win because I know for a fact that chat your chat definitely tried to own you There's no way They didn't try to own you So like that means that even with them being just the absolute the largest goons They still couldn't totally like sandbag you and that's the important thing He won one out of four. 
Okay, Sam, you omitted the part where you got owned three times before you, like, succeeded. You left that part out. So what, so what actually happens is I need to allow you guys to, like, just totally sandbag our game and ruin it for us all collectively as a team. And we'll call those ones warm-ups, and then when you're all done, like, ruining the stream, then we can play one real game six hours in. Is that how this works? Oh no. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh no. Oh no. Oh frick. Oh jeez. It's gonna be fine, chat. We're just gonna, it's gonna be fine, all right? But we are probably gonna get in the game pretty uh, pretty soon. Uh, so uh, I believe, is the extension already visible for people to like enable? Is the, the extension, I enabled it on my side. So people uh, familiarize yourself with the extension in the corner. You're gonna wanna make sure it's functional. If you're on mobile, <laughs> well, let's hope you're not on mobile. All right, everyone else get ready to have some fun. All right, everyone else get ready to have a good time tonight. The, re the rest, uh, get ready to have an unreadable chat <laughs> and be constantly drowned out by a just barrage of bullshit that you cannot contribute to. You guys can, uh, anyone that doesn't have uh, the, a means to use the extension, don't worry, you can RP as a filthy peasant, a surf, like just some nasty boy. All right, that's fun. You can, you can engage in illiteracy and just act like you can't spell right. You can be the uneducated masses. You can actually play via mobile. Shh, shh, shut the fuck up, man. What the hell's your problem, man? Shut up! You gotta just tell them that? The peasants will start getting dreams and aspirations of a better life beyond this one. They'll wanna- they'll wanna actually have like, I don't know. Representation. Oh. 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 Ew. They'll want representation. Next, they'll be asking for like three meals a day. More than one by the gods. I know they don't understand how hard it is. They don't understand how hard it is. They don't they don't understand anything. That's why we think for them. We, the upper class. That's why we think on their behalf, so they don't have to. They're gonna burn so many calories they can't afford thinking like that. Don't you know? Tomato really out here RPing the 1%. I play the king, okay? I ain't just the 1%. I'm the 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1%. All right? All right. I'm the one! <laughs> All right, the one! That's right, Chad!
I'm just like Neo. M1. God, you're cool. I know it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know it. Yep. I know it. You guys don't have to worry about that. I know exactly what I know. I know exactly. We're going to get in the game in a minute. We're going to get in the game in a minute. Because <clears throat> I think it's going to take like... We're going to have at least one game of this that is absolute shit. Let's be honest. People need to like figure out how it works. I barely know how the game works. The first fucking round is going to be an actual shit show. Like I feel bad. All right. For anyone that exists in this kingdom. Because it is going to be trash. We can, I declare now that we can learn to coexist. We can live together in harmony. We can. Do not start up the Grillo Tilo team. All right, do not. There's no need for that. Do not activate the Linguini machine. You don't need it. You're not gonna need it. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. All right. We detest pasta in this kingdom. We hate pasta. We don't like it. We as a people demand new options. I want pizza. I want pizza now. Grr! All right, new dynasty. Uh, should I check my options? Upload gameplay analytics. What, you're gonna steal my data? <laughs> yeah, right. I never help the devs of video games. I hate that. And then I get mad when there's bugs. Mmm, grr, grr, mmm. Mm. All right, let's get in. Monarch name. Nasty. <laughs> no, I think it's just be, t we'll just do tomato. We're just gonna make it eat. Well, my guy said I, I made the sleepiest, angriest guy I could find. Customize your monarch first. I did. This is customized. Uh, this was not the default. I did it in advance, but I guess I could still customize him more. I just wanted to see what the options were. Glasses. I like to imagine they're really just, they have two eye patches and they're just blind. I can't see. Horse blinder king. <laughs> you can't see. Uh -huh, yes. Well, that just makes you look evil. Hang on, can I get bald? How bald can I get? Ew. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Horrible. Horrible creature. <laughs> Disgusting. D Disgusting. I don't, I don't like it without, like, a, like, facial hair. At the very least, he needs facial hair. He has to have it. Egg. <laughs> no. No, man. I'm not going to need a sword because uh, no one would dare rise up against me. No one would dare rise up against... Against the clean one. The cleanest one. 
not a hair on his body from 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 nose to toe only the eyebrows have hair completely clean spotless yes <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> I absolutely loathe the nasty, the nasty peasants, the disgusting animals. Remove gross brows. You can't just remove them. The, all of my hair is concentrated in my eyebrows. All of it. I've paid millions of gold to the greatest wizards and witches and warlocks and leprechauns of this world in order to have them wish and transplant all of my hair directly into exclusively my eyebrows, creating some of the densest eyebrows this world has ever seen. King Bezos the first. Okay, we're putting hair on the boy. All right. We're putting hair on the boy. Oh my god. Kind of kind of fucking fabulous looking, huh? Holy shit. Damn. Oh my god. Yo. What the heck? Oh my god. I don't like that at all. Uh we're gonna get we're gonna get the mustache back on. We're gonna use uh we're gonna use uh yeah that chiseled the ch the chiseled look. Oh yeah, hell yeah. And we're gonna get him back to being totally bald. Very good. Alright, he's ready. We fixed it. Yes. 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 Yes, this is him. But what about the eyes? I tried to pick the most sleepy eyes possible. Yep, I hate it. Yep, that's the one. That's the one. Although he does have access to the Sharingan. <laughs> uh, chat and RP, you guys have to be extra scared of my character. He has access to the Sharingan. Okay, I'm just letting you know. He has access to the Sharingan. Specifically, the mango one. The the mango Sharingan, the one that lets him explode people with his mind. So watch out. Okay? Wrong color for Sharingan. <laughs> no. His is super powerful. His is incredibly powerful. Okay. He 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 holds incredible power. All right. New dynasty. Let's get in there. Monarch name? Uh let's um mm, what's a good what's a good mm, 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 let's think here. Let's think here. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's gotta start with an S. Uh, S. <laughs> Sklumble. 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 Sklumble of the, uh, let's see, uh, <laughs> of the Uchiha. <laughs> We can't just do that. We're not allowed. We're not allowed. Wait, yes, I am. I'm the streamer. Uchiha Dynasty. Monarchs crumble of the Uchiha Dynasty, the last of their name. The last of their name. The last of their name. King Sklumble. That's a Scumble Uchiha, dude! Dude, 
that's Global Uchiha. He came out with the mango Sharingan. He strangled his twin brother in the womb, dude. He killed him. He was incredibly powerful from the day he was born, dude. He what? Sklumble's a, Sklumble is an antagonist character. <laughs> Sklumble is an antagonist character. He's not a good guy. <laughs> He's hardcore. Bruno <laughs> spoilers. Dude, the streamer just spoiled the new show. Play on Twitch. All right, chat. So this is where I get to choose the houses. I get to, there are three regions that I get to pick for the world. First is the Barons of March. The Barons are brash rural marcher lords who wear boyar hats and military uniforms. They're renowned for their belligerence and fondness for hunting. Chiefs of the North. The chiefs are honorable warrior lords who wear thick furs and blue tattoos and often carry weaponry. They're renowned for their honor and prowess in combat, so none of- Chat, I'm gonna pick based off of what I imagine the chat is actually consisted of. Which means chiefs of the north, people who are renowned for their honor and prowess in combat, right out, motherfucker! Yeah, right! Yeah, right! Not a million years, dude! Counts of the East, ruthless aristocrats who wear cloaks and dark clothing. They're renowned for their secrecy and sinister traditions. All right, well, that's a lock-in. That's an instant lock-in. The grandees are impassioned zealots who live by strict codes of honor and etiquette and often react explosively to those who challenge the social norms. Dude, I say one, I say piss at some points and people question mark and say nasty, gross, disgusting. Uh, so I think that's an instant other one. You guys, you guys can't ha the moment something that like goes from the social expectations of what I normally say on stream and people actually fucking lose their minds. They start frothing at the mouth. You don't want to admit it, but you're grandies. All right. There's grandies out here. There are grandies out here. Patricians of the coast, wealthy merchant lords who wear masks and lots of jewelry. They're renowned for their cleverness and skill at negotiation. I don't know about that one, dude. You guys kind of want to be, you guys kind of want to have patricians of the coast, but like, are you? <laughs> are you really? Because when I imagine you, I think of belligerence. <laughs> I think of belligerence is what I think of. The Dead Zark donating five gifted subs to the channel, revealing their wealth, their renowned cleverness and skill in negotiation. Very good. Yes. But I believe more people are belligerent. I believe more people are belligerent. I think it's Barons of the March. Look, chat, we can pick the, if we're, we're not gonna win. Okay, we're not winning. <laughs> this run is the test run. It doesn't matter right now. This is just me picking and like looking through the stuff. Spectrum's 909, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. And I also saw, what was that? What was that, what was that, what? Uh, 10, 100 bits from Trico Mator. Thank you as well. 1000 bits, otherwise known as a thousand. I, I said that the longest way possible. Now I have to open up my stream notifications before I start today. He got confused. Chad, you guys are absolutely belligerent. <laughs> like by getting outraged about me picking this instead of Patricians of the Coast, you've outed yourselves as belligerent. I don't know what else to say. The game was rigged from the start. You got owned. Okay, we're beginning. Type join in the Twitch chat to join the game as a noble. I believe you'll be automatically put into a noble house. Hey, Nightbot has killed a lot of people. Hey, Katie. Katie. People are still getting in. But uh they're gonna it's gonna break the whole game after. Okay, I'm gonna ban Nightbot. I guess. 
It's dude. <laughs> dude, can, uh, uh, help! I will fix it. I'm more worried about the uh, after when people type a second thing and get 10 minutes timeout. I think I'll just nuclear option get rid of Nightbot for now, unless Katie can fix it quickly. Because it's fine right now, but it's gonna, if people like try to double check, they're gonna actually kill themselves. <laughs> that, okay, it looks like it's fixed now. No one should have gotten any long timeouts or anything, but uh, Nightbot, Nightbot was, uh, thank you, Katie. Uh, Nightbot was taking swings. I didn't see anything going by that says people got like actually timed out for like a meaningful length of time, but sorry about that. Okay, so we are now, we are now filling up. We'll let this go for a little bit since Nightbot was uh, killing anyone that tried to type it. So we'll let this go for like a minute. <clears throat> Cause what, you would have only had your message purged, right? So people could still, uh, people could still type again if they didn't get in. You should see if uh, your whispers are blowing up. Oh boy, chat, if you just got timed out for like three minutes, you'll be okay. People can join mid game. So Sam's saying you can join mid game. So don't please, if, you, if it's like a fucking five minute timeout, please don't hassle the mods for it. I'm sorry that that happened. Uh, be patient. All right. Damn, there's a lot of there's a lot of nobles and stuff. I don't know how many how many people can this game handle at once. There's a lot of people. I, I would say it's too many people. Actually, is what I would say. I would say there might actually be too many nobles. We'll let it fill up to 500 on each because it looks like uh, it'll get pretty close to that, and then we'll uh, start. And other people that want to join can join in the middle. Because you're apparently allowed to. We'll let it get up to 500. Shout out Counts of the East. <laughs> Dude, the Counts kind of cringe. Uh, kind of cringe. Kind of cringe, the Counts. I don't like them. All right, 500 each, let's begin. King of the Castle Primer. To win, acquire an heir and complete your ambition before the regions complete their schemes. Oh, you fuckers are playing against me, you rat bastards. Keep an eye on your region's schemes. If they pass all their steps, they'll win the game. Be careful of the region's defiance stat. If it gets too high, the regions may rebel against you. To win, pass all three steps of your scheme. Each aim will need you get stats to certain levels, which are affected in votes. How you vote is up to you. For your region's scheme to stop other schemes or for the good of the kingdom. If your defiance stat is high enough, you can rebel. This pauses your scheme and is risky, especially if you have low military. Each season, you'll get three events to play. Click on one to get started. Here we are, the spring of 948 under King Sklumble the Great, I may add. King Sklumble the Great. The trade industry average. <laughs> the defiance in line. God, God worshipping average. Military, grandees kind of dropping the ball a little pathetic right off the bat. Kind of lame. All right, well, uh, well, oh my God, let's get in there. Five authority. I don't have a lot of authority. <laughs> How much? What's the top amount of authority? Five out of like six, right? Five out of six. <laughs> right? Ten? I'm going to go to my coronation. This is your monarch, the streamer's character. They'll appear in most stories, but not all. But I'm the main character. But, but I'm the main, but I'm the main character. 
What do you mean I'm not going to appear in every story? These are kingdom stats. If any of them are zero at the end of the turn, the monarch will lose the game. Okay. These are region stats. Stats determine which events are generated. Defiance is higher than both authority and stability. A region can trigger a rebellion. This is risky, especially if military is low. Okay. You can scroll through the full list of nobles and their wealth here. Why would I fucking want to look at that? Well, why the hell would I want to do that? Dude, all right, I'm just letting you know now, if any of you get really poor, I am going to pick on you in front of everyone. Like, you are going to get singled out. I will scroll down to the bottom of this fucking list and laugh at you. I will. If you get poor, I will fucking laugh at I will laugh at you hard. Your majesty, I've scheduled your coronation to take place in a week's time. Shouldn't I be giving the orders now? <laughs> I'm sorry, Chancellor. What I actually wanted to say is, uh... Sorry for bothering you, uh, because you're fired, and you shouldn't be in here anymore, because I'm the boss now. Of course, Your Majesty, but to delay any longer would make the nobles restless, and when the nobles get restless, they take their daggers and look for the nearest back. Those disgusting, nasty peasants wouldn't dare. Do you understand? They wouldn't dare. You should pay more attention to the history books, Your Majesty. The nobles are always plotting something. Always plotting. Now, that's what the history books say. They don't say you guys are ever chill for a second. Always plotting. As is tradition, the council will decide what happens at your coronation. What? But it's my coronation. This isn't an absolute monarchy, Your Majesty. Everything has to be run past a council vote, even this. Shall we call the nobles in? Ah, uh, here we fucking go. Here we fucking go. The nobles have to come in already. I suppose certain choices will change stats. Some choices that do so will indicate this change here. Okay, not all choices that change stats have these indicators. <clears throat> okay. What kind of coronation should be held for the new king? Host a lavish parade with jugglers and a fountain of wine. Invite foreign dignitaries and show off our wealth. Throw the king into the river. The nobles must put on a vast banquet for the king. I haven't started the fucking vote yet. And I just wanted to see what you guys were going to fucking say. And I'll tell you one thing, if you think I'm going to let you assholes throw me into the fucking river day one, now that I've seen you out yourselves as planning on throwing me into the river, you think I'm not going to fucking veto the river? You think I'm not going to use my monarchical power to get rid of the river? I hereby demand! I hereby demand that the river be filled with concrete! There will be no throwing! We shall throw 18 peasants into the river, is what we shall do. For the 18 years my late father ruled this kingdom before he was gruesomely ripped to shreds by a boar. That's what we shall do. I'm gonna start the vote. <laughs> Go ahead. Moose Cow, you're fucked! I saw that! I saw you vote first! I can't get all of you, but I saw who voted first! I saw who voted for fucking C right away, you fucker! Yeah, right! I can't get the details! But I do know who voted first! Moose Cow's gonna be thrown into the river. Dude! What the fuck? Chat? Voting has closed. I do, I'm not going to veto yet because that's a it's a trap to veto now, dude. It's a trap. Fine. Throw me into the river. I don't fucking care. What do I care? What do I care if I get thrown into the river? I can swim. All right. It's like a, it's like, chat. it's like when someone dumps like a bunch of water, like a, like the Gatorade on you at like a sports event. When you get the big win, everyone's cheering when they do it. All right. Everyone's cheering. They're having a good time. It's like that. 80 nobles voted to throw me into the river. 
It is decided the king shall be thrown into the river. My authority has gone down to dubious. But people do like that I allowed myself to get thrown into the river. That's a good look. All right, people think I'm cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, what? What kind of coronation is that? I fucking hate this. Uh, well, no, I'm just gonna get changed into my nasty clothing so I look like a real gross boy. The nobles pick you up and carry you out to the thre the Treadwater River, hurling you into the shallow water with a cheer. The shallow water? Yes, I also throw you headfirst right in towards the nearest rock. Cool, cool. When you climb back up the bank, soaking wet, the chancellor steps forward and places the crown upon your head. Is it your imagination, or are some of the, no the nobles stifling giggles? I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill them all. I'm gonna kill them all. They're all gonna die. One way or another. Starting with Moose Boy. Starting with... When I find Moose Boy on this goddamn list, they're dead. They're gonna die in Minecraft. And they're lucky I'm bored of scrolling. <sighs> Council introduction. <clears throat> Now that you're the king, your first duty is to meet with the Council of Nobles. Okay. Your nobles would hail from all across the kingdom, the desolate east, the scorching south, and of course, the bleak march. Uh, let's start with the barons of the march. I don't want to talk to the fucking, like, edgy boys, really. Hail and well met, your highness. Under your leadership, we'll whip this kingdom into shape, hmm? Baron Pub UK. Give me a fucking break, this kiss ass. I've hated this guy's guts since the moment I laid my mango sharingan eyes on him. Give me a fucking break. So you guys are- so the, the barons are represented by the UK. Uh, let's go to the Grandees of the South. May the Ninth God bless your reign, your highness. I trust you will conduct yourself with honor and faith. Grandee Evil Hobo Lord. I don't fucking trust that as far as I can throw it. They got evil in their goddamn name. All right, the Grandees are out. The grand I think I, I'm only going to trust the Barons on this one so far. I don't fucking trust that. I don't trust that as far as I can throw it. An honor to finally make your acquaintance, your highness. May you escape the doom that befell your predecessor. That's just how the counts talk. That's how all of them talk. Timo X12. God, you are a fucking kiss ass, huh? And with that, the introductions are done. The council hall immediately fills with raised voices as the nobles argue with each other and demand your favor. You sigh and sit back. Is this what the council is like? No wonder your father told you to avoid the throne at all costs. The last thing I gotta do is the path to victory. The monarch must acquire an heir and complete their ambition to win the game. A spouse is useful but not necessary. Yes. We shall create my heir using alchemy. <laughs> I shall create my heir using alchemy. I shall create a homunculus that will rise to take over my kingdom when I am done with it. Complete your ambition before a scheme or rebellion usurps you or before you lose all authority, treasury, or stability. Your Majesty, the first few years of your reign are the most difficult. You're new and unproven. The nobles and council will scheme against you, hoping to kick you off the throne and put their own puppet claimant in your place. Uh, those fools couldn't scheme their way out of a paper bag. Better kings than you have been toppled by their treacherous nobles, your majesty. You're gonna rue the day you said that, streamer. Oh, I dropped something. Oh, no. Oh, what? What's this next to it? Oh. It's gonna be one of those days. <laughs>
<laughs> Look what I managed to scheme out of this year paper bag. Oh my god. <laughs> to defeat their schemes, you must secure an heir and prove that you are worthy of the crown by completing an ambition. My question is, when you die, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? Uh... Greatest king who ever lived, pass as a conqueror, pass as a peacekeeper, pass as the father of the nation. What weird pass? As a saint, pass as the architect of a new golden age. Money. I love money. A lofty goal indeed. I suggest over the next few years you focus on improving the kingdom's overall trade as much as possible. I love money. Once you have an heir, I will return to discuss your ambition, how your ambition is progressing. Good luck, your majesty. You've now played all events. Advance to the game by clicking end season. Can I ask uh, the march to kill someone? Like from their, uh, like, team? Can I, like, a can I contact the barons and ask them to send moose out? Can I do that? Am I allowed to, like, call them and be like, hey, send out moose. Send moose to the capital alone. I don't think I can. All right. King's Clumble ends the spring of 948. Loved deeply by his subjects. And not but one complains at all about the, the, the conditions of the country. Each region will now vote on one of three randomly selected schemes. Oh my god, these fucking goons. I actually have to see what you guys are scheming. You gotta be kidding me. My fellow counts! In ancient times, the East was its own proud kingdom. We can bring back those days of glory, but not while the false king's clumble wears the crown, says Miss A. Shut the fuck up. What scheme should the counts pursue to overthrow the new king and place a preferred claimant? Doppelganger, blood ritual, or possession? You guys only have 20 seconds to vote. I'd do it fast, counts. Oh, they're voting on the meta, dude! They're voting on farming! Fuck you! Fellow houses, it is our duty to fucking pour bleach all over their plants. It is our duty to pour bleach all over their plants. It is your civic duty to litter <laughs> all of your plastic goods. On the land of the Couts. So the Counts have voted for a blood ritual, which means their goal is to have the highest farming. I don't really, they already have it. So do they, in, I, I, I'm guessing highest farming means like 10. It doesn't mean like, oh, they have it already because they technically have the highest. Or else the game would be over. The Count plan to summon an ancient famine demon that will devastate all other regions, paving the clear path to the throne. First, they must ensure the East can withstand a famine. Okay, guys, relax. <laughs> hey, hey, Eastern Counts, relax. Okay, okay I thought I didn't think it would be like that. You guys are summoning a famine demon? You guys are the bad guys. Hey! Hey, barons, grandees, are we just gonna let them get away with that, dude? Are we just gonna, are we just gonna let them do that? To advance this scheme, the counts must be the the region with the highest farming in four seasons. Okay. Ernesta. Is someone in the chat actually named Ernesta, or did it actually give us a, like, a actual, like, NPC character? Dude, chat. Imagine all of the noble grandees listed here got picked around by an NPC. Every single one of you got owned. I'm still scrolling, baby. I'm still, every single one of you got picked around. 
kind of cringe. Kind of cringe. A false pretender occupies the throne while my claim is ignored. Grandees of the South, this is a stain on our honor. We must not allow it to go unanswered. Okay. What scheme should the grandees pursue? A witch hunt, fervor, or excommunication to get Ernesta, their preferred claimant, on the throne? Yeah, he's going for a witch. Come on, guys. Everyone's going for the meta. Everyone's playing on meta. The game's not even out yet, dude. <laughs> you guys are pathetic. You guys are pathetic. Absolute meta goons. Fine, I'll play on meta too. Fine. Have your witch hunt. Have your witch hunt. Fine. There's all sorts of heresy in the capital, and the grandees intend to expose it. First, they must ensure the South is beyond reproach. Hey, grandees, if you guys really want to, like, focus on that, though, just so you know, I have new... I actually got a letter. It wasn't labeled to me, but they mailed it to me accidentally. Uh, from the counts that says they're going to summon a famine demon using a blood ritual. Like, I don't know if you guys should be coming after me, is all I'm saying. Because there's a famine demon. With the counts. Uh, I'm saying it's play to the RP. To advance their scheme, the grandees must be the region with the highest faith in three seasons. Three seasons. Oh, counts. Grandees actually get a win earlier than you if they do their thing. No matter what, they're going to get it earlier than you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They get it earlier. They're going to win no matter what if they get farther ahead than you. Gloria. <laughs> wow. Every single one of these barons got picked around by Gloria. I think if you're a claim if the claimant is the thing, then you just don't get a noble that appears because that the claimant's like an NPC. When have the barons of the march backed down from a fight? Never. I know you'll do whatever it takes to put me, your rightful queen, on the throne. Who? Who? Subterfuge modernization or propaganda? All right, Barons, which way do you want to have your win? Lord Pyrometheus out here alone on subterfuge, dude. All right, Hokanes is here too now. Okay. Well, I mean, I hate to break it to you guys. It's going to be modernization. We are bringing this country into the 21st century. Very cool. Voting is closed. Modernization is in. The barons plan to modernize the kingdom's army in such a way that it's totally under their control. First, they must prove the military is in need of reform. To advance their schemes, barons must lower the other region's military to a combined total of eight or le or less in four seasons. Man, they met it hard again. Dude, everyone's playing the meta. Everyone's playing the meta for their factions, dude. I mean, hey, that's the game. You can't really complain about it. Everyone else did it too. Everyone's done it too, dude. <laughs> you guys can't be like, how could they? Because everyone did it too. You either play to the objective or you just get owned. And then there's me. <laughs> Here you can review the region's schemes and their claimants. When you have an heir, they will appear in the right of this page. Okay, if your reign ends abruptly, the nobles will vote for the next monarch. Okay, this vote is between the two regions with the highest combined stats and your heir if you have one. Okay. So I'm not realizing, I don't think Mize is real either. I think all three of these people are NPCs. And that's just, that's just how it is. Uh, so Gloria is a bastard offshoot. Mize is an ambitious vessel and Ernesta is a distant cousin. I don't know them. <laughs> I definitely don't know them. I think they're lying. When you say that you're the third or like 15th cousin, 18 times removed, at what point do you just not actually have a relation to me? Okay. 
At what point is it just bullshit? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not so sure, Anesta. All right, I'm not so sure. Warning, Monarch currently has no heir. <laughs> That's a bunch of bullshit, all right? That's a bunch of bullshit, of course I have heir. Of course I have heir, I'm right here and the window is open. I'm fine, all right, no one needs to worry about me. I'm fine. I have very good ventilation in this room. But I don't have any hair. <laughs> no, dude. Fuck you, man. I will not accept an heir which doesn't have hair. And she's. All right, here we fucking go. You see, with any luck, chat. The Easterners will be invaded by the frozen wastes, and they'll just kind of clean up themselves. With any luck, they'll die on their own. You know, we won't have to worry about the blood sacrifice. But I guess let's, we're going to start at the south. As you know, we'll start, we'll start with the new plague. Your Highness, the East has been struck with plague, and not just any plague, a dancing plague. Says Count. Generic user 0101. You're lying. <laughs> You're fucking lying. What are you- are you kidding me? Bullshit. What? Explain this to me. Well, well, why aren't you dancing then, idiot? I have been infected yet, of course. Otherwise, I would not be here to risk it spreading to your majesty. It affects everyone, even dogs and cats. We don't know how it started, but spreading quickly, whole villages are dancing themselves half to death. I see, I see. What should be done about the dancing plague that has gripped the east? Quarantine the infected villages. Well, I can't do that. That would affect my trade. I need my trade incredibly high. Do I not? I need everyone's trade as high as possible. That's my goal, right? Mine is, I need everyone's trade collectively as high as possible. The economy needs to be as high as possible. Pass a law that forbids dancing. My authority is low, I gotta bring that up. Let it be, how bad is dancing anyways? Gentlemen. Everyone here knows that the Counts are raising a famine demon. We all know this. We all know they're attempting to raise their farming so that they can bring a famine demon onto our land. They might as well enjoy themselves a bit before they summon a demon. Don't you all, don't you all think? Don't you all think? They might as well all enjoy themselves. What's a bit of dancing? What's a bit of dancing? Yes. Yes! Yes, chaos. Jay, you are so stupid. <laughs> There's some counts voting for it, dude. Oh, let it be. Let them dance. Let them dance. Let them continue to dance. Let them dance. They shall continue to dance. A dancing plague might bring some life to the masses. Why not let it spread? Soon, half the kingdom is dancing round the clock as the plague hits other regions, including the capital. Well, that's not my... I, I... I... How could we have known? How could we have known that the plague would hit the capital? How could any of us have seen this coming? Productivity is down and the crops are rotting in the fields, but at least everyone appears to be having a good time. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Chat, we had to dis we had to do it. We just need to find more ways to take away their food. <laughs> By any means necessary. The honor guard. Now that you're king, you need a personal protection. Why, I could plunge my sword into your heart right now, could I not? Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. You need an honor guard to keep you safe from such dangers, your majesty. Unfortunately, this is a political decision. Are you fucking kidding me? No. What do you mean a political decision? People have to vote on who's going to protect me? Don't- I don't want the counts involved. They've been dancing. <laughs> Marshall, you don't understand. I, I thought all the cats were going to die from the dancing plague. They're going to vote like really mean now. They're going to be really tough on me. What are my options? Each region offers a selection of elite guards. The counts with the knights of the order of the drowned rose. Of course. The grandees with fierce battle nuns from the Sisterhood of Steel, and the barons offer a squad of battle-hardened veteran soldiers. Why the fuck would I take the- uh, Barons? Barons, I respect you guys. But if y all you can bring to the table is these guys are soldiers, when the other two are bringing Knights of the Drowned Rose, and, like, the fucking grandees are like, Battle nuns from the fifth hell! Like, Fuck you. You know what I mean? Like, like don't sh like if you're gonna phone it in, don't just don't show up. Think carefully, Your Majesty. These guards' loyalties will be divided between you and their region. Of course, you could just hire foreign mercenaries. They'd be loyal to coin above all. Well, I do want to be rich. Well, I do, I do desire to be as rich as possible. What about foreign mercenaries? A band of fearsome fighters from the Tatterlands called the Battle Bitten Brethren. They specialize in bodyguard work, but they're costly. Hiring foreigners will be considered an insult to all regions. I can tell you one thing I don't care about is whether or not it's insulting to them. Don't you dare. I don't want the battle nuns or the drowned rose. And I especially don't want the fucking barons. You know what? I actually think because I dumped on the barons so hard, I should pick the barons. Because then everyone's going to think that like, oh, he just picked that because he felt bad for them. And I think I have to pick the barons. Because it's going to like they, they, they need a W. They are, technically, if I really step back, the best option. But then I would be empowering them, and their whole thing is modernization. I don't think I want to, uh... I don't think I want to fucking do that. Yeah, I'm gonna pick the Battle Nuns. Terrifying warriors. They've sworn a vow of silence, so at least they won't spill state secrets. Why can't more of you guys be like the Battle Nuns? And just shut the hell up more often? I've made my decision. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Why would anyone rise up against the king's glumble to begin with is my question. Well, dude, how do I check the region's schemes again? I can't check it anywhere. I can't remember what the schemes are. Someone, I could have sworn one of the parties really wants their defiance high. It's the check marks. So they want everyone else's military lower. Okay, so no one's defiance. Military. Okay, so f blood ritual, they want their farming the highest. Faith, they want. Okay, I see. And military, they want theirs also. No, they want theirs lower. They want it to be eight between both of them. Uh, well, here's the thing. Uh... I'm going to pick Veterans of the March. No, I'm gonna- I'm gonna pick the Southern Nuns. 
I will make arrangements at once. I, I, I picked the nuns. The battle nuns arrive in the palace a few weeks later. They nod to you silently, their solemn steel masks betraying nothing before filing into formation behind your throne. If you want to cry about it, maybe add some better fucking options, all right, in your catalog of, like, warrior guards, okay, chat members? From the losing teams? If you're going to cry about it, maybe put some of that energy into, like, working on your, like, you know, resumes. Saint or sinner? Can't see fox. All I'm saying is every grandee claims to have a saint in his ancestry. Your great great grandfather was commonly a problem. A, was was probably a common dullard. Shut your mouth, you hedge-born puzzle wit. Whoa. I'm just Ken. Relax. What? The hell did you just say? His name was Saint Umber, and he defeated the werewolf of Aranjar by turning it to dust in an instant, according to my grandmother. If you're so sure, how about a little wager? A bag of gold says your ancestor was no saint. You're on! Why am I here? I don't want to be here with this. Oh, not another petty dispute between the commoners. Count Fox is spreading damnable lies about my great-great-grandfather. If you really think he was a saint, then dig him up. Saints are incorruptible. Even in death, they don't decay. Very well. I request the council permission to exhume my ancestor and prove this fool wrong. Ken? Ken, are you fucking sure you want to do this? Ken? Some choices have uncertain outcomes called challenges. These can either be random or based on a stat. The percentage shows the chance of success. Let's see. Grant permission for the body to be exhumed. 60% chance for faith to go up. No dead people should stay underground. Okay. Okay. Uh, ask the Archbishop to check church records instead. Does the entire... So the entire... Like, all three factions vote on these things. Because if it wasn't, I'd be vetoing A. But I don't think I have to. Remember how to do the vote right, chat, by the way, because you don't you aren't given much time to start the vote once we actually get in. So remember to actually do it right and type it right, like Katie just said. Okay. Or you're gonna look like a nitwit. What shall the people say? What shall the people say? Other houses, you really gotta pick it up. We you don't want them to dig it up! If the grandees get that thing and they get the 60% win, they're going to get ahead. Are you fools? Hey, other houses. All I'm going to say is some people in the barons and some people in the counts are trying to get you killed. All right. I'd remember that in the future. I'd remember that in the future. Some grandees. All right. Look, uh, these these guys may not just be trying to get you killed. They're trying to hedge your chances of survival, okay, on a 60% coin flip with a weighted coin. I guess let Ken dig the body up. At least it'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see the rotting corpse. Ninth, bless you, your highness. Now, where's my shovel? All right, Ken. A few days later, the body is exhumed from its resting place in the southern necropolis. Oh, yeah, that's a nasty corpse, huh, Ken? Oh, Ken. Oof. Oof. Grandy, ju I'm just Ken, is horrified to discover nothing but a moldering skeleton. Ha! 
Some saint, I think you owe me an apology. By the ninth, I was so sure. Word spreads quickly of Grandy I'm just Ken's humiliation, and faith in the church weakens as a result. There's still the problem is it's always everyone at the same time. So like we're still not getting their faith exclusively down. It's everyone. At least so far. All right. Well, looks like that's the season. A lot of L's. <laughs> A lot of L's, no W's anywhere to be seen. But you know who always wins? The capital, baby. Haven't spent a fucking dollar. Nobles can use their wealth to bid for buildings, which will change stats. Oh, no. This is done through an auction where only the two most funded buildings are chosen. When the auction is open, nobles can fund with the following command. Fund AX, where X is personal wealth. When you're ready, hit start vote to begin the auction. Okay. Hope you guys can figure that out. It's not open yet, chat, so I would wait a fucking minute. <laughs> You guys are so freaking stupid sometimes. Like like little like little fools. Wasting your wasting your fucking energy typing in things and pressing enter even though it doesn't matter yet. Well, I want to look f through it first. All right. So, it looks here A is the barons will build themselves an aqueduct to raise their farming up one. Or they could build a grand bazaar to raise trade for everyone. Trade for one faction is trade for all, as far as I'm concerned. The counts. We can all vote to have the counts make a fucking federal reserve. <laughs> Gonna be hard to get food, counts. Gonna be hard to get food for your fucking blood sacrifice. When half of your fucking countryside is reserved as a goddamn national national fucking park, okay? <laughs> We're gonna give the counts a federal reserve and a federal prison. That is what we will do. We will give them everything they never wanted. Grandees can purchase themselves a cathedral or a fortress. I don't know if everyone can vote on everything, but I also know that I, for one, think the grandees have enough goddamn faith on their hands. You know what I'm saying? I think they have enough goddamn faith on their hands. I think we all know that. All right? And I think we also all know that maybe less, maybe less so cathedrals, maybe more so, okay, military might. Because I'll tell you what, if the counts of the fucking grandees slip one more time on military, uh, the barons are going to be winning. Might be time to secure a guaranteed win on the barons. That's all I'm saying. But let's see. Let's see what happens. Begin the auction. Only two things can be built. I will not allow more. The aqueduct. The aqueduct. Oh, the fortress. Raise the fortress. Let's get the fortress going, boys. Fuck the cathedral. Get that cathedral out of here. We want the fortress. We want military might. We want military might, we want deer parks. Think about the deer. Think about the deer and the fortresses. Think with your head for the future of this community, not just one faction, but all. The fortress and the cathedral are neck and neck. Where are the people that are going to finance this fortress? Where are the people that are going to finance this fortress? Fund F. All of your money. That's all you have to type. Fund. F. Everything. <laughs> Throw it all in. 
Get it out there! Yes! 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 The people vote for what they should! Yes! And as a result, the house wins. King Scrumble wins. <laughs> Lame. <laughs> Chat, you have to remember, uh, part of the mechanics of the game is I have a voice and get to use it to try to swing the votes in whatever direction I so want to try. That's part of the game. I'm not rigging anything. This is the game. It's up to you to decide how you want to vote. I can't make you do anything. But I will say, Grandy's getting a fortress and the Count's getting a deer park, Grandy's, all I'm gonna say is, while you may have lost out on the cathedral, you did just secure a very high chance that the, the barons can't win the game. So you didn't really lose as much as you're thinking you lost. Uh, you did secure shutting out another team. The Counts get owned. <laughs> the Counts! The Counts stay losing. The Counts stay losing every day, though. We can all agree the Counts... The Counts get owned. Thank you, Dem Shields. Ladies and gentlemen, Counts, if you have anyone you want to really fixate your hatred on, do it at specifically Dem Shields, which the game so kindly labeled as the main funder of the $81,000 pool to go to the Deer Park. Dem Shields, thank you for donating $1,000 to the Deer Fund. Very good. And Bobescence with a Fortress Fund. Thank you very much. Very good. The next season comes. Dude, you can't be fucking telling me the East still has the goddamn dancing fever. You cannot tell me that's happening again. Dude, the East is getting actually thrashed. <laughs> the East is getting else. It's getting worse. What the fuck's going on? Count generic user 0101 stands before you hopping frantically from one foot to the other as he speaks. Oh no. It's him again. This disgusting creature is back in my hall again. And this time he's infected. The plague, your majesty, it's spreading. Why, I think I've been infected myself. Uh, get him out of here. It's a bit late for that, your majesty. Half of the kingdom is infected by now. Uh, make him leave. <laughs> make him leave. You need to do something or we'll dance ourselves to death. This may look fun, but trust me, it's anything but... Well, let me take a look at my options. Order the nobles to hide in their castles and wait it out. We lose some stability. We lose some authority. but we And we lose some trade. Unacceptable. Chat, this is the first time that we are picking a vote that is actively important. Unacceptable. That's going to hurt everyone. That's going to hurt everyone. Unacceptable. Vote A, make sure it loses. I would sooner veto A to make sure you don't doom our people, you foolish, uneducated numbskull! Hire a wizard to sort it out. $2,000 of the treasury dipped. Okay, now that's unacceptable. Now hang on, let's all calm down for a second. That one's unacceptable. Hang on, I didn't read the other options. We can't afford the wizard. The... Uh, we... <laughs> I, for one, I, for one, vote that we infect every noble with dancing fever as a sign of solidarity with the people. We shall all dance. That includes you. Chat, nobles, nobles, all of us, huddle up. Everyone get in a huddle. All nobles, come on, over here, huddle. What if we all just dance and pretend we're sick publicly and then stop dancing once we're back inside and none of the normals, the normals, the poors, can see us? 
All it would cost us is some stability. All of these options suck for me in their own special ways to the point where I do not care what happens. <laughs> I actually I actually need to stress I don't think I think every single one of them is equally bad for me in a unique in a unique way to the point where I genuinely like any of them any of them could be the way it goes. It doesn't really matter. Start the vote. Decide amongst yourselves I do not care. Don't do that one though. Don't don't do that one. Don't. Guys, come on now. <laughs> Guys, I was going to buy you all a birthday present. Guys, how am I going to buy you a birthday present? Okay. All right, I guess I'll just... Sorry, guys, I was going to get you that new Lego set you wanted, but I guess I'll have to get you a fucking, like, Mega Bloks set instead. That's fine. I'll get you Mega Bloks. You like Mega Bloks. Oops. I guess I'll get you Mega Bloks, because I can't get you the Lego set you wanted. Because we're poor now. My money! Damn you! King Sklubble will have his revenge! Fucking wizards. Waiting for the wizard, you wonder if your foot tapping is impatience or infection. When she finally arrives, Pestia is clad in tightly wrapped black silks and wears a face mask that resembles the skull of a giant rodent. Her voice is dark and croaky. I heard you were having a plague problem, your majesty. Uh, not just any plague, it's a dancing plague. That explains the bouncy watchman on my way in. I thought he was happy to see me. Not every day I get such a warm welcome, you can imagine. I'm an expert in plagues and pestilence, but not of the dancing kind. You fucking assholes made me purchase a uh, like an upfront wizard fee for someone that doesn't even know what the dancing plague is. Chet, I hold my veto still and I hold my goddamn monarch pick still. You fucked up. Because now you've pushed me to the point where I have to start making plays. Do you understand? I, now I have to make plays. You get you get one of those a season. All right, we're gonna start making plays. One a season. One a season. Unbelievable. I'll tell you what's a plague: democracy. That's a goddamn plague. There must be something you can do. You've hired me, so I will do what I can, but I make no promises. As Pestia leaves the throne room, accompanied by a cloud of flies, you pray to the ninth god that she will find a cure soon. I can't believe the East is actually going to spend this entire game infected with a dancing plague. That's kind of pathetic, isn't it? I need to find a spouse. In the twisty passages of your castle, you can avoid your advisors, the nobles, even the spymaster, but there's one person you can't avoid. Your mother. Oh, no. Why haven't you found a spouse yet? It's been almost a year. But, Mama, I don't want to get married. I just want to play video games, Mama. I've been busy. You'd better find the time. Don't worry, I'll take the liberty of finding eligible candidates. What is your preference, men, women, or do you not mind? Yeah, I mean, I could, I could definitely, uh, I enjoy a huge hog every once in a while. I'd go with any. Excellent. I'll send out messages to the most influential noble families in the kingdom and see what they have to offer. You know who hasn't really gotten any things? Like, any events, chat? The March. Have we not had a March event at all yet? They're getting owned. They're getting owned by nothing ever happening. They're getting owned. There's no problems. And you know what that means? Nothing happened. Meanwhile, the South has an abomination. 
Oh, I'm just Ken is back. Your Majesty, I have something to confess. A terrible mistake. I was desperate to prove that my, my ancestor Saint Umber was a saint after all. So I sought out a witch who lived in a giant snail shell in the desert. I paid her to summon my ancestor's spirit back into his old bones so I could ask him questions about his sainthood, but the ritual went wrong. Ken is uh, actually fucking financially doomed. Damn, Ken. You fucked up. Damn, you poorer than I am, man. <laughs> Damn, man. My ancestor rose as a living skeleton. He killed the witch and ran off into the night. You fool! Dark magic! Necromancy! I should have burned you- I should have you burned at the stake for this abomination! Hey. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, barons and counts, huddle up over here. Guys. The grandees? The guys who want to win by having the most faith in the fucking realm? The one guy they dug up? That they said there were, there, there was a saint? Was he a saint? And then when they revived him with dark magic, it murdered the reviver and then scampered into the woods. And now the guy who said his granddad was a saint is about to get burned at the stake. I don't think we gotta worry about a witch hunt coming to any of our counties because it sounds like the grandees are gonna kill each other. One guy. <laughs> Everyone wins. <laughs> Should Grandy I'm just can't be punished for dabbling in necromancy? Chat. Grandy I'm just can't should be burned at the stake. Let's see here. That would raise the faith of the region. Oh, we don't want that. Oh, we don't want that. Oh, we don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want that. Why would we want that kind of violence, Chad? Now, why the hell would we want that? We don't want that. We certainly don't want that. When I'm just Ken is making such foolish decisions and embarrassing the grandees, why would you want him to get out of the picture now, chat? That's what the grandees want. The grandees want them gone. But as long as Ken stays in the spotlight, he's going to continue to bumble his way through the whole game, dooming them all. So now we have two choices. Task him with hunting down the abomination he created, raising, potentially raising the military of the grandees, therefore dooming the barons even harder. Or letting them off with a warning, which would really just kind of fuck everything for uh, the grandees forever. So it sounds like either one of these is pretty cool for me, but C may actually confirm that the grandees also don't have a win. It may be the only chance the counts and barons had to shut the grandees out of a faith victory. But what do I know? All I know is no one's going to be burning Ken today. It's close. It's close, folks. Folks, it's close. This is a this is a within 20 the whole way up vote. It's close. What I think is the most fascinating thing here was the grandees that voted to let him off with a warning. Snakes in the grass, traitors to their own faction. Should grandee I'm just can be punished for dabbling in necromancy? Let's let him off with a warning. Let's let's have the fa the the faith obsessed faction that stands so 
so strong with their beliefs. Let the necromancer dabbling psycho off with a warning. A good look, grandees. A good look indeed. A good look indeed. Most generous, your holiness. But better than I deserve. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 the grandees, dude. It went down by two, dude. The grandees have received the ultimate slap back down to earth. Bah! This council will tolerate necromancy of all things. What kind of message does that send? Shut the hell up, High Inquisitor. Shut the hell up! Soon, rumors spread of a dead saint in the desert wandering. A wandering skeleton wearing nothing but rags, who's attracted a rabble of mad followers. The dead saint preaches that the modern grandees have fallen from grace. After all, they brought him back with necromancy. What more evidence does he need? Damn, this is like the worst thing that could happen to the grandees on their witch hunt victory. Hey, play to the meta, get owned by the meta. What can I say, dude? What can I fucking say, grandees? Gotta watch yourself! His fanatical followers launch surprise raids on southern troops. Flaming arrows in the night. Throats cut in the barracks. Supply lines disrupted and trade caravans set alight. Ah, oh, we lost trade off of that. Guys, can you like... Hey, grandees, can we huddle in together for a little team talk? Ah, uh, can you guys lift the trade back up, though? Can we, um, work on that? Because, um... Like, I'm gonna need you guys to pull it together. Uh... Like, there's no reason for everyone to go down. You know what I mean? The skeleton saint... As he's now, as he be, as he becomes known, will be a thorn in the grandee's side for years to come. <laughs> That's a grandee's problem. That sounds like a grandee's problem, just like the dancing plague sounds like a count's problem. And the barons don't have problems, but don't do anything. I'm glad the barons have remained chill and cool and done nothing, because it's really made this easy. An e a simple season. An uneventful season for the capital. Yes. You may now collect a common tax or target a specific region. Taxing a region will increase their defiance stat and decrease noble wealth. Oh, the grandees love me. The grandees love me. And I'm going to get a trade bonus I trade with that. I'm going to get a bonus I trade with the grandees. They're rich. They're rich. Look at grandees money. They have a lot of money. All right. All I'm saying is that I think we can all agree that Danger Fonz needs no more money. Tax the rich, I say. Tax the rich. Yes. Yes. You will rue the day. Don't you guys have a saint you need to deal with? In the desert? Don't you guys have an undead skeleton warlord rising in the desert that you should worry about? You have a tomb lord. You have like an actual fucking like tomb lord in the desert you gotta deal with. So I get on that. Okay? No. <laughs> no! Damn you, Muscow one! Damn you to hell! 
I found you, moose cow, you rat bastard. So you finally shown yourself. Dude, barons stay absolutely silent. Crickets from the barons of the march. Crickets. Nothing. Maybe a military proposal from the Barons. Maybe that's what's happening. Barone Strippin. Your Majesty, for too long the Barons have smoldered, have shouldered the burden of defending the kingdom's border with Ashmead. What are the odds, man? It's not fair! <laughs> Don't you think the Counts and Grandees should carry their own weight? Uh, but this is the way it's always worked. <laughs> but this is, but why would I change anything if everything's been fine? Maybe it's time that changed. The counts and grandees should send us a battalion of soldiers each to man the border wall. And if they have any sense, they'll listen. Real voice. Dude, Sam would get actually fucking truly outraged if I attempted to do like a fucking like British accent. Okay, I'm doing him a favor. Because that's what a real friend does is they acknowledge how immediately outraged. So what's happening here? The counts and grandees should each send a full battalion to the march. Lower defiance. Raise military for the march. Lower chat. A is a doom. Like, that's doom. That is that is how you let the grandees immediately win the game. Is A. That is, that is like, actually a veto level thing. The other regions should send a small force of warriors as a symbolic gesture. The system's worked so far. Let's not change it. Well, I, chat, what's the rule for defiance and being overthrown? Like, I think I actually can't let my defiance get much higher or my authority and stability will be low enough for the threshold. Don't vote yet. Don't vote yet. You just need it to be, a, you need it to be above five at least. Oh, okay. There is no fucking way in a million years, Chet, that we can allow A to win. Which is why I'm willing to veto it. Because if that happens, somehow the- It might actually somehow switch the dynamic to the Barons actually winning. And they have the closest- they have the closest win. And like another season is like their check. I have to veto. I have to veto A. A's gone. Because they get that check in like a season. No one would be able to change it after that. Yes. Now, I for one believe that uh, the system has worked and will continue to work. Okay. But what do I know? I for one believe... Oh no, it's a neck and neck. This will be a fun surprise for me. I'm going to go to the bathroom while the vote happens. I'll be your beat. All right, all right, all right, close it! Close it! See. The system's worked so far, let's not change it. 
so close. Chat, to be fair, I'm going to, I basically ruled it as the second I got to my computer, I was going to close the vote so that it wasn't like swayed by the extreme extra length of the vote being open. I didn't want to come in and be like, hi, I'm back, and then observe the vote swing wildly in any other direction. So. Okay. Nothing changes. By the ninth, maybe next time you ask us to die for your kingdom, we'll hop over to the sunny Tavalin for some orange juice and sunshine. How about that? Grumble harder, bozo. <laughs> Grumble harder. Smadge as hell, man. I hate this king. You all can hate as much as you want. You know I'm doing a damn good job of it. I have an invitation from the East. Without a word, Count Woodnymph hands you a blood red envelope. It is sealed with white wax in the shape of a skull. Oh, fucking hell, these guys are, these guys like LARP all the time. They are super, like, it's always like weird RP with the Counts, dude. It's all the time. They just don't relax for a second. Even one second. Inside is a beautifully written invitation to an event called the Crimson Vigil, due to take place on an autumn night late next year. I'll be busy that day. <laughs> Dude, I don't want to go. I'm not going to that. There's no way I'm going to that. Also, if I, if I go to it, they're going to blood ritual me. There's no fuck besides that place is fucking infested with plague. I'm not going to the goddamn Count's house for anything. That place is disgusting. Yeah, right. Coward. Come LARP. What is this all about? I can stray no more. You must choose whether to accept our invitation or to decline it. Dude, there ain't no fucking way I'm going. If that's what, if when I ask that, you say that, no fucking way. I'll see you later. Grumble harder, Bozo. <laughs> no way. No way. No way in a million years. They can dance alone. Grr. I'm busy. Keeping my kingdom barely afloat. Thank you. I have found three potential matches for you. One eligible young candidate from the kingdom's three regions. Choose wisely. You'll be securing a powerful alliance. What if I don't like any of them? That is a decision that can wait until after you've seen them, isn't it? I guess. Your mother leads you to the Great Hall where she's arranged three portraits on... on Okay. On easels? Covered by cloth. Wait, I don't get to meet them? There's no time for sentiment. You just need to match that befits your station and suits your political needs. True. She whisks away the cloth from the first portrait. This is Des Domina, the eldest daughter of the Eastern Vice Arcadia Dynasty. Okay. Forgive the snooty expression. I'm sure that's caused by an errant rush stroke. Two balls. Very good. <laughs> um, yes, very good. Our, our future offspring will be the most hairless creature this world has ever seen. Very perfect. Perfect. She had a laboratory installed in her castle and spends most of her time there conducting bizarre experiments. The other counts think she's mad because she treats the peasants far too nicely. Intriguing. Intriguing. From the south, Zaquin, the eldest son of the Knight, La of the Knight Lautrec lineage. He's reputed to have an ego the size of the sun, but there's nothing wrong with confidence, right? Like many in the South, he claims to put his faith in the Ninth God above all worldly concerns. Unfortunately, he lacks the common touch. The peasants have some terrible nicknames for him. I don't like the look of him at all. I actually think he's a fucking absolute goon. Grandy, stay losing. All right, that's all I'm going to say. 
And finally, we have the marches offering. Victor, scion of the prestigious Chilipan bloodline. Timid of disposition, not the kind that does well in the march. Bless them. Perhaps the palace will suit them better. They set up their own mercenary company for a while and did good business. That's all over now, though. Also, got into a fight with their local bishop a couple years back. Gave him a bloody nose. <coughs> hmm. Hmm, yes. Uh, is that all? Meh. What do you think? Of course, by picking your candidate, you'll anger the other regions, but you'll gain a lifelong alliance. <sighs> well, I can't pick... I have to pick counts or barons, because if I anger... I can, I can afford to keep dumping on the grandees, because they actually fucking love me. Can you guys believe that? Like, the grandees just love getting owned. They love getting owned. They love it. They love it. Look, chat, you can say whatever you want, but the numbers don't lie. You love being owned. And taxed. <laughs> the title was actually secretly only addressing the grandees. <laughs> Everyone else is having a great time. Uh, I've made my decision. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gotta be, uh, it's gotta be a uh, bald one. It's gonna be the bald one. I think it's gotta be the bald one. I think it's gotta be bald. And it's gotta be eggs. Egg! Of the east! That worked. Uh, the counts. Very cool. The barons, I got... Look, barons are gonna get a W soon, chat. Barons are gonna get a W soon, I promise, to bring that defiance down. I see it. I see how mad you are. Barons are gonna get a W soon. You're gonna get your W. Unless you revolt, at which point, I swear to God, I will kill you. I swear to God, I will put you in the ground. The season ends. Another lovely season in heaven. In the kingdom of King Scrumble. In a distant castle in the south. Oh, who cares about the grandees, dude? Like, what? Oh, don't they have a skeleton to hunt? Don't they have a skeleton to hunt, dude? <laughs> Can we get some more barren stuff to happen? In a picturesque castle overlooking the southern city of Calabra, two grandees lie back to enjoy the sun. Night, preserve us. I tried meeting with the High Inquisitor, but was told she was busy with marcher representatives for the entire week, says Grandee Comey Pack. Egad, the barons are more important to the church than us. I suppose our people have been lax in their religious duties recently, says Grandee Panziosia. Well, yeah, there's been a fucking skeleton warlord saint risen from the dead that murdered, like, cities of people. The Grandee's aim is to have the highest faith of all regions. Oh, here we go. Her, you can adopt a new law that alters how voting is run. You can only adopt one new law at a time and have a maximum of three laws to use. Yes. Why the hell would I ever adopt that? Why would I ever adopt that one? The monarch can mark their preferred voting option. If chosen, they gain plus one authority. I'm going to take reverse voting. And then I'm going to fucking absolutely own you guys at some point without talking about it. And you're uh, and like we can clip this and see what it happens later because I'm just going to clock it in without telling you at some point. And own you. Lock it. That's it. Keep an eye out, buds. Keep your eyes fucking locked. The march... The march stays really quiet. 
The march continues to get, like, just catch L after L. Nothing. While the counts continue to deal with uh, what looks to be um, horrible disease. Your majesty, I have returned. Tell me you can fix this plague. I'm afraid it's far too late to contain the spread. It's clear that this was caused by an irresponsible use of magic, not by flea or rat. Hmm. That does sound like the counts. That does sound like the counts. The counts have gone up to some bullshit in the past. Still, there are a few options. I can inoculate your highness and household for a small fee, and then you can wait out the rest of the plague in peace. What are my other options? I can also attempt to break the original spell. I discovered that it came from a monastery, of all places, deep inside the east. It will be a difficult procedure, you understand. Very risky. I will require full comp further compensation. Oh my god. But if I break the spell, the trade goes up, which I need more than treasury money. Or I could or no, if I do that, then the mar then the barons are actually going to rise. If I do that, the barons will rise. I can't do that one. And there's no way I can inoculate myself. Dude, I'm going to be poor. The only one that's good is this one. I have to. Just no one tell anyone that we're super poor. Pa Pastia is, quickly, is quick to start her ritual, gathering many extravagantly expensive ingredients that look like they were fished out of a sewer. The ceremony is a brief affair, but the stench it leaves in the palace is unbearable. You worry it may never go away. The plague breaks overnight. People weep openly in the streets as their torment comes to an end. The whole kingdom celebrates with a day of rest, known from now on as the Day of Stillness. I saved us all. I saved us all. I took matters into my hands and saved us all. Please do not forget the kindness I have done us all. Sure hope my wedding's not expensive. Cause if that if that lady tries to fucking say that this is gonna be an expensive wedding, she's gonna she's gonna be laughing it up. Alright, the counts are about to catch a huge L if she tells me to pay any money for this fucking wedding, I'll tell you that much. We'll go to the Gossamer Shield first. Your Majesty, heed my plea! The great tragedy of our time has fallen in the East! Uh, I think I just lost the game. Uh... Someone died? Worse than that, I fear! An order of once great knights has fallen into disrepute. It's the order of the Gossamer Shield, your majesty. Oh, his wealth. Oh, I don't care then. Our arch Paragus has lost, uh, loses some money. Fuck them. They were once the greatest of the knightly orders to serve the count. Their virtues were extolled by bards across the land. Tales that would make a troll weep. But they've been brought low. They're working as glorified bounty hunters for the south. This is a stain on the honor of the east. Some grandee's wealth has decreased. Grandee's stay losing. Grandee's stay in the dirt. Dude, I just imagine the faction of grandee's at this point as that meme of like people like having dropped their fucking cafeteria food on the ground and looking up at the sky crying. Like grandee's just can't get a fucking break. They are face first in the nastiest shit all the time. Like the military doesn't even matter for them. They need money to force a faith win at this point and they can't get it. Nonsense. Our military has suffered from some setbacks recently so we hired gossamer security to keep order for a pretty penny I might add. Says Grandy McCavity 177. Gossamer security has been solving the problems we want solved and kicking the butthawks we want kicked. Blood and stars, Gossamer security. How has it come to this? These are knights, not mercenaries, and they need reminding of a little thing called chivalry. 
Please, your highness, I beg the council to be reasonable. What do you want me to fucking do? Well, we can't do- we can't do either of those ones. We're not doing either of those. I'll tell you what. It seems like the best thing I can do in this moment is ignore the situation. <laughs> it looks- Ladies and gentlemen, it feels- it looks to me that everything goes down. For the first time ever, we may actually have a unanimous vote where everyone can agree that the best choice is to ignore it. Everyone vote A? Oh, that's funny. What I meant to say is there's only one choice and it's to ignore it. What I meant to say is that you don't have a choice. Go on then. Vote. For the first time in our history, it seems like we finally have an understanding. I love I love democracy. Yes. Yes. We'll have to ignore it. Hey, I mean, the South's military is going up, which means that the Barons literally can't win anymore. I don't think- I think the Barons are done. The Barons are literally done. Uh, I don't think the Barons have a chance of pulling this back. I think that's over now. The Order of the Gossamer Knights remain happy. Mercenaries in the south, enjoying the spoils of the labor. Slowly, the Grandees rebuild their garrisons. Stay mad. My authority! Damn you! <laughs> but the Counts are not happy. Some openly complain about you, and rumors have started to spread about your unwillingness or inability to preserve tradition. Fuck you. Overthrow the king? I don't think you're gonna wanna do that. I don't think you're gonna wanna do that, Jack. Time to go to the wedding. Your wedding to Desdomina is naturally the talk of the kingdom. Nobles and peasants alike travel from the, across the realm to attend. For a week and a day, the capital is one giant party. It feels like you're the only one not you're the only one not taking part. Instead, you're standing. Re you're getting ready for the ceremony. Soon enough, you're standing in St. Bertrand's Cathedral with Desdemona at your side. Oh, God. Here we go. Do you take this woman as your lawfully wedded wife? Uh, statistically, I have to. <laughs> Is exactly what I say in verbatim. Uh, yes, I have to. I have no choice. Then I pronounce you king and wife. After the wedding, of course, there's a feast, and after the feast, a dance. At the feast, your new wife, Desdemnima, delivers a long, rambling speech that puts everyone to sleep. Looks like no one's going to be say having any fucking revolts today. Yes. By the time you find yourself alone with Desdemnima, it's past midnight, and you've never felt more tired. What a wonderful occasion that was. A shame we couldn't follow the Eastern traditions, of course. What's a wedding without a little bloodletting? You'd better get used to life in the capital, all right? I don't want to hear anything about your culture ever again. <laughs> yeah, uh, you... Yeah. Don't bother me again, all right? I need to find a way to make a hundred thousand dollars. Oh. Let's focus on the positive, shall we? Oh, don't worry. I always make the best of things. It can be tough being as gracious as I am. Uh, what are your thoughts on the state of the kingdom? Well, you know, the kingdom looks after itself. 
Desdomina immediately changes the topic to talk about something she's more interested in. This is ideal because that means they aren't going to fucking care whenever I totally dunk on everyone's houses. This is good. That was the best answer they could have given was saying they don't care. Good. That means I'm not going to get stabbed in the back by this bozo. In my spare time, I tinker with some very complicated science stuff. I won't get into it, though. You wouldn't understand half of it. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> That's so interesting. That's so It is, isn't it? Anyways, to continue on the subject, you gently fall asleep to the sound of just Domina droning on about herself. Good. That's about as good as it could have played out. I won't even remember her name. Moving on. Late at night, two counts meet in an ancient stone cemetery to discuss their schemes against the king. Our grain stores are looking good. Enough to endure famine better than the rest of the kingdom, I'd say. Well, though, they're tied, aren't they? Doesn't that mean that they don't nest? I guess technically they're fulfilling it. How delightful, but won't summon this demon be difficult? It's magic beyond our usual fare. The walls of reality are sturdy, but they can be weakened. A tide of blood must swallow this kingdom in its wake. For the next stage of their scheme, the counts must lower stability to four or less in two seasons. You haven't won yet, you fuckers. Good luck. Amidst the dark and foreboding forests, a small squat castle stands watch over the marcher border. There, at the end of the kingdom, a plot is hatching. Great God! Those other regions still throw their military weight around, eh? Sadly, yes. We need to prove to these fools that the, that the only army this kingdom needs is ours. The Baron's aim is to lower the other regions' combined military might to eight or less. Literally impossible. I don't see how they how they manage it. So currently, we have Ernesta and Gloria still at phase one. Chat. Next year is the year of the Counts catching L's. I think we can all agree. <laughs> Next year is the year of the Counts catching many L's! Oh yes. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> oh no. Oh shit. You're married to us, Tomato. I don't care. You probably should have, uh, the Counts probably should have sent, like, a, uh, like, a person that actually cared about the Counts at all, instead of talking about, like, their lab the whole time. You think they're gonna fucking back you up? I need to solve my bankruptcy. The treasury is almost empty, your highness. Uh, where, where did it all go? I don't know, your majesty. Perhaps you've been spending it a little, a little too freely. Apart from raising taxes, we have precious few options. You get a bank loan or sell off the crown jewels or perhaps crack open some of your predecessor's tombs whilst you're buried with piles of gold, or so I've heard. <laughs> well, that's free money. I'll just do what all the governments of the real world do. I'll just make more. Like I'll do what's like the real thing that you do. You make more. If I need it, I'll make more. Worry about it in the future. Right now, I need more. I'm gonna print it. We can't lower my stability. Uh, it feels like genuinely the option that's best is hefty loan from Salvent and Gall Bank. Feels like it's the loan. Well, this would... This would just, would this dip into, uh, 
Well, look, here's the thing. Here's what I'm thinking. This only gets me a thousand. Most of my bills that I've had to pay for bullshit are up in the thousands. I think I need... I think I need hefty loan. I think it has to be healthy, hefty loan. I'm, dude, I'm not doing the mint. I, you know that's gonna backfire. You know that's gonna come at come back like next season to kill me. There, there's no such thing as a no downsides option. I'm gonna get owned. I'm picking hefty loan. The Bank of Salvent and Gaul operates from the fabulously wealthy P Republic of Kurth. Hopefully this doesn't drop me four. All the way across the Western Sea. They assure you, however, they maintain total independence from the Republic. The banker they send to take your signature has delicate hands and sharp teeth. He watches you as you put pen to paper, eyes glittering. You're making an excellent decision, your majesty. You shall pay us back with 25% interest in one year. Huh? 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 Saddling the kingdom in debt isn't great optics, but you had no other choice. I didn't. Why can't any of you pay more in taxes? Hmm? And why, pray tell, are, are none of you paying me more taxes? Why can't you be more like the grandees and love me and pay me lots of money? Let's visit the grandees. Your Majesty, it is my singular honor to invite you to attend the annual Night of the Seven Pyres celebration. What is that? Do you really not know? It's the biggest festival in the entire South. It's a celebration of the Ninth God and his victory over the other eight. It is the most holy and sacred night of the year. Most people like it because of the fireworks are involved. Uh... Well, let's see. If I decline, I lose nothing, and I don't have to participate in anything with the grandees. They're at one defiance. Well, no, I want to save my defiance with the grandees because I'd love to dunk on them way harder later. I'd love to dunk on... But no, but if I do go, then that's enabling their religion as something I actually support, which therefore helps their faith. Right? So I, if I don't observe it, it's not real. And the only thing they have going for them is a skeleton in the desert killing people. Ah, uh, we'll go. I love fireworks. Indeed, your majesty. I'll go. Wonderful. I trust you're willing to finance and organize one of the pyres. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I can't make it. Oh, a shame. Sorry. Uh, bye. Yeah, I can't make it. Sorry. Um, hey, and go fuck yourself, by the way. That's the last thing I say to them as they leave. Yeah, I'm not spending any money. Um, let's go to the jousting tournament. Your Majesty, the barons of the march who invited you to a jousting tournament. How delightfully rustic. Uh, I'm not going to fucking compete. But no, if I support a knight, I'm going to have to pay for it. I put my life on the line. But no, 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 no. If I put my life on the line, I'm going to lose authority. If I put my life on the line, I'm gonna, if I get owned, I'm going to lose authority. How expensive would a fucking night be? Dude, I have a year to make the money. I have a year to pay the interest. I'll do it myself. Superb, your majesty. I will send your acceptance directly. And now I can dunk on the barons. Chat, it's okay. That's not going to happen for another year. Chat, it's okay. I, I don't have to actually address my bullshit yet. You have no heir. No, chat, but the thing is, I'm not actually going to uh, uh, attend. I'm going to tell them the day of that I can't make it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna tell him I can't make it that day. Easy. Easiest W of my life. All right, chat. 
It's time to buy buildings. You know how this works already. You use your personal wealth to bid on buildings. The only two highest funded will be built. Don't do it yet. You want to wait until I actually start funding. Now the barons can get themselves something that lowers their faith. Or lowers their trade. So these are things that other opposing factions buy for them. Is what those are. Counts can raise their trade or build a stadium to lower military. Grandees can raise their military again or raise stability for the kingdom. Now, chat, I do want to remind all of you that if the counts lower the stability enough, they win. And I did just accept to go to a jousting tournament and I know that's not your problem necessarily, but all I'm saying is I am going to beef it out there and that is going to drop the stability. So maybe it all of your best fucking interest to put some money into going to the goddamn library. Okay? That's all I'm saying as we go as we get into this. Because if I if my if I beef our stability, that's on all of us. Alright? That's on all of us. Think about it. Alright? Think with your head. Think. Begin funding. Only the two highest will win. It seems like people really want to lower the faith of the barons, which of course would lead the grandees to almost possibly claw their way out of poverty. Uh, stadium being built would also be beneficial for the barons. Seems like the barons are kind of walking away with a lot of W's here, chat, because you guys didn't fucking think for yourselves for once. Seems like no matter what, the barons and the fucking grandees are gonna get what they want. We've had no W's. Yeah, and I would like to keep it that way. Frankly, I'd like to keep it with all three factions receiving no W's. If I have it my way. I like how there's people still putting money into it, despite the fact there's no way any of, the, any of the other things win. So you've actually spent all of your money, therefore making my career easier in the future. You basically threw money into a fire. Every single one of you, after the first $30,000, uh, threw all of your money into a fire. <laughs> yeah, that unopposed stadium definitely needed 11... Dude, $110,000? Only winner spends. I know. And they spent $110,000. Even when they win, they catch a huge L. <laughs> oh, my heir. At last. We need to talk about this. This is important. Congratulations are in order. The royal wedding was a magnificent affair. And it felt more like a life sentence than a wedding. Oh, don't be so dramatic. You've done well so far, but something's still missing. An heir. You need someone young whose loyalty is assured. A child of your own would do the trick, even if they're a bastard or the youngest of your many cousins. Uh, let's see. Uh, God, I really don't want to actually, like, deal with the counts at all, so I think just, ha like, never speaking to my wife again is a pretty solid option. Uh, really, as far as I'm concerned. Um, let's see. Youngest cousin's probably relatively safe because they'd be on my side. A lowborn orphan child would show that I'm a people's person. Pretty sure I have a bastard child lying around somewhere. I don't want that one. We're not going to talk about that. Ah, uh, we must continue the bald legacy. Ah, the traditional method. No one will object to that. I'll arrange for you to take a month off from ruling so you can mm, get down to business. Nice. 
an entire month of getting down with it. The barons have assembled upon a jousting field, watching from tall stands. This place is buzzing with excitement. Oh, I wanted to say I couldn't make it. A servant straps on your armor and helps you mount your horse. She hands you your lance and you ride out onto the field. Wait, I changed my mind, though. Welcome, one and all. We have the most thrilling guest today, says Baron Pug Babies. Oh my god, here we fucking go. As you ride your horse past the stands, nobles gasp and stare. I stare back. <laughs> the barons gasp, then applaud wildly. I'm gonna live. When the jousting starts, you quickly realize your opponents swerve each time they approach. They don't want to hurt a king. Puts a dent in the challenge, really. What can I say? Bracing match, isn't it? You're beating everyone so soundly. Uh... If I withdraw and watch the match instead, then the fucking barons win. The barons win. So I can't do that. And they'd have their military thing happen. Well, actually, they really wouldn't, would they? Wait, no, the barons thing it doesn't have anything to do with their military. It has to do with everyone else's. I lose nothing from withdrawing. Matter of fact, that's the safest option. That wins me everything and puts me at no risk whatsoever. Because who cares if their military's high? It doesn't matter. But stability? Yeah, I love my 50% chances to permanently lose something I never gain back while the counts desperately attempt to get me to lower it. You guys think I'm going to take a risk on anything involving my stability when you guys need me to lower it? Yeah, right. You think I'm an idiot? You think I don't clock the fact that the counts need to catch as many L's as possible no matter what? Yeah, fucking right. I withdraw and watch. The march can stay powerful. It doesn't matter because I have to lower everyone else's. You graciously withdraw from the competition take your place in the stands. You can't see much of the competitors' faces, but even as they race towards each other, they look more relaxed. As one of them is knocked from his horse, the, uh, the audience applauds, whooping and cheering. A wise choice by me yet again. Fashion is cyclical, your highness. An old trend has returned and has swept through the march. Bees. Bees? Bees? In jewelry, my liege. The buzzing insects can be found trapped in golden tree sap. My marcher artisans use these to adorn necklaces and rings shining like little gemstones. But my artisans can't keep up with the demand and a glorious trade opportunity slips through my fingers. Our fingers. Bees. The little buzzy things, your highness. The population in the march is dwindling, but you can help. Encourage farmers to focus on beekeeping. They keep the honey. I I only ask for the bees lost each harvest. Uh, what about wasps? Wasps are cheaper than bees. But I promise you, people will notice the difference. Wasp jewelry is just creepy. Dude. Farming no longer matters. <laughs> the, the, no, the fucking counts already won that. So why the hell would I put my money anywhere near bees? I literally don't care about it. Trade. There is no guarantee right now, chat. At this point in time. God damn it. But I... D Fuck, dude. I need to make money. God damn it. There's not even a guarantee that I'm going to make anything off it. Very well. I'll put the matter to the council. Thank you, your highness. Approve subsidies for beekeeping. Okay, that would raise our trade. It would cost me... It would cost... It would cost me some money? But raise our wealth. Okay. Uh, wasps... Would be bad. Wasps would actually hurt us really bad. It would really cost the treasury a little bit. And simultaneously, um, raise defiance. And, uh, lower, uh, lower farming. Uh, force a new fashion trend. 40% chance that I lose authority. 
Uh, mandate that all farms in the march keep at least one beehive. Okay. Well, I mean... Here's the thing. Um, I can't afford to lose authority, so I'm vetoing that. I'm not gonna let you guys... I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna let that even be an option. Because if I lose any more authority, I'm gonna be entering, like, the danger zone. Fascinating. <laughs> People are gonna vote on fucking wasps and kill themselves, dude. Like, it, it, it's, it's so dumb. People are gonna literally vote wasps. People are gonna vote wasps, man. I'm telling you. Hmm. I mean, none of these are that bad for me. I can afford any of them. But I do know that trade has been down. I do know trade has been down. I know trade has been down. Hmm. B for B. <laughs> it's reverse voting, chat. Is it, though? Is it though? Because currently it's not. It's not reverse. It's reverse. It's reverse. Vote already! Vote already. Predictable wasp vote. The predictable wasp vote. $400 is nothing to me, though. And if the defiance goes up, it's zero. And the farming doesn't matter anymore. So, the wasp thing really changes nothing. Doesn't really do anything. Wasps! 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 We're doing wasps! Unbelievably, the council approves subsidies for wasp keeping. Most farmers have enough self-preservation to refuse the coin. Most. Wasps are not bees. They can't produce honey. They don't look particularly nice in jewelry either. What they can do is sting. And they'll do it with enthusiasm. It doesn't take long for farms to be overrun. Damn, chat. Uh, looks like the march, um, got owned. Are you guys happy that you voted for wasps? It looks like an L goes to the Barons and nothing else happens, because what do I care about $400? That's not going to swing me towards passing my debt or not. Defiance is good. You're going to need more than one Defiance gained, okay, to actually swing anything, my guy. The season ends. A pair of counts face each other in silence. A code word is exchanged. They speak of their latest schemes. What happened? The kingdom was meant to be a whirlpool of chaos by now. It's more like a whirlpool of smiles and hugs. No demons will come anywhere near it, dude. The count's aim is to lower stability to four or less. And it has not lowered at all. Back in the south. A plot to instigate a witch hunt against the king is picking up momentum. Glorious work, my friend. We have a faithful south and a friendly high inquisitor. Was there any doubt we could achieve it? We are the ninth's favored, after all. We will expose the king and all of his vices. That plague witch that the king hired for his dancing problem has already caused a bit of a stir in the palace. We have the High Inquisitor on our side, but we must now also sow dissent among other regions. We won't succeed alone. For the next stage of their scheme, Grandies must rage other reasons defiance to a total combined uh, total of at least eight in three seasons. So Grandies and Barons have to be four and four each. Oh, sorry. Uh, counts and barons. So, uh, even higher. Or, uh, the same. Good luck. Good luck, bozos. <laughs> Damn, the faith one was easy for you. Compared to this? Tax time, tax time. <laughs> tax time. Tax time. And you know who I'm gonna tax? Chat. 
Oh, you know I need a freaking tax. The richest people in the game. <laughs> and if they get mad, I mean, who's gonna care? It's not like that helps their uh, witch hunt, does it? Does it, grandees? Does it? You guys probably should have spent more money on things so I couldn't tax you instead. Tax. Vote for wasps. See what fucking happens. I'll be taking my money back, grandees. Thought you were gonna vote so the barons could have wasps at their house? Well, maybe I'll take some money back. Damn it, moose cow! The grandees stay taxed! End season. <sighs> Do I just deal with the South now, these fucking guys? I guess I'll deal with the South now. I will rue the day. We'll see. Your esteemed highness, I bring troubling news. If you say it's troubling, then it must be. A group of individuals in the South are meeting in secret to preach heretical teachings and engage in rituals. They're disciples of the Tenth. They believe that one day a prophesied Tenth God will save us from the apocalypse that the Ninth is setting in motion as we speak. Dangerous nonsense. Regrettably, I require Council's permission to launch a proper investigation. Otherwise, my Inquisitors would have destroyed the cult before it had a chance to spread. Uh, let's see here. Uh, if I tell them to forget the nobles, I raise defiance, which is what fucking grandees wants. So that's not happening. Ever. It would raise authority, but what has that mattered compared to making sure that everyone's fucking objectives are very low? Chad, you guys don't understand. I don't listen to you because you're always thinking for your team, not mine. You guys don't understand. I can read your things out loud, but I don't listen to them. <laughs> You've not, you don't sway me. You only care about you. Hmm, this isn't worth our time. Forget about it. Yes. Forget about it. Heresy is a disease, your highness. If you do not cure it quickly, its spread will become uncontrollable. You will regret your hesitancy. It looks like the grandees for a bunch of people that are really obsessed with, like, religion and crap have a lot of bullshit going on in their borders. Kind of cringe. Oh, it looks like they're actually agnostic now. Dude, that's actually embarrassing for you guys. Anyways. That's like actually staggeringly embarrassing. I feel like that's gonna come up later on like tier, cause chat, I, I am, am I wrong in thinking there's a third phase of victory conditions for each team? Like there's still one more victory condition per after these ones? There is. Yeah, I feel like that's gonna backfire for the grandees if I start tanking their fucking religion now. I bet you guys need a lot of religion to win. Now play in the march. I have unfortunate jousting relating news from the march, your majesty. What? What happened? Did someone fall off their horse? In a matter of speaking, your majesty. What? What happened? Grandee liter literary jester was killed in a bout against Baron Cannon Brawl 07. <gasps> no, man. The grandees are calling for justice. <coughs> Grandee literary jester signed up for this. It's all part of the sport. I make money off of that. Jousting is too dangerous, it must be banned. Well, I'm not doing that one. Put Baron Cannon Brawl through a trial by jousting. What even happens? Like, what's the, is that a random reward? For Cannon Brawl? On the trial by jousting? Is that random? Hmm. But he's not good at joust. Uh, 
Fascinating, fascinating. Fascinating. Let the gods decide what to do with him. Let the gods decide what to do with Cannon Bro. Let them joust for their lives. Let them joust for their lives. There was no point trying to fucking sway the vote in any direction. Everyone's going to take the 50% challenge. See, what would be more interesting is if uh, the reverse voting thing was shorter. Like, if I could shorten the window of voting on top of it. Because people have 30 seconds to realize that I've done something. Which is why I've been, like, hesitant to do it. Baron Cannon Brawl 07 is going to enter a trial by jousting. Damn it. Tail. The Counts win something so small. The trial place takes place one rainy afternoon. Baron Cannon Brawl 07 rides out Grimface set to battle against Baron Buckeye 9675, who's been named the judge of the occasion. The battle is swift and brutal. Buckeye unseats Cannon Brawl easily. Cannon Brawl is found guilty of sabotaging Grandy Literary Jester's horse before the battle. He's taken away for execution. All of the death and drama whips the jousting fad into a frenzy. It continues to spread. Okay, people like jousting still. Chat, we as a collective all need to focus on one thing very importantly right now. And it's bringing my stability up, all right? The Grandees and the Barons, we all need to fucking put our differences aside. We have to put it aside. We need to put it aside. I'd rather watch you fall. You guys, the Counts are gonna win. You really want the Counts to win? <laughs> really? You really want the Counts to win? After a particularly long session at Council, Desdomina comes to find you in your chambers by the blood of the dead. I don't know how you stand all that talking. I like to talk as much as anyone, maybe more, but sometimes you have to stand up and take action. I know exactly what you mean. I was thinking, what if we did something to make things better? I've been reading scholars' papers about these herbs you can find in the Crownlands. You can use them to treat wounds, but no one's done it on a wide scale before. If I had the equipment and reagents, I could do all kinds of research to help people. We don't have money. We don't have money. But it would raise trade. Desdemina, how uh how's the air coming along? How's the air coming along? Has sex month happened yet? Dude, I have to pay the debt. I have to it's so much money, and I haven't had anything that's come along that's made me money. The best thing I can do regarding the Counts of the East is just simply ignore everything that Des Domina says forever. Because I just took taxes and that was like nothing. Like, it's not enough. I need to get up to like $4,000. You want trade up. Chat, I fucking know what I want. You guys aren't listening to me. <laughs> Some of you are dumb as dirt, man. You don't pay it. You're not paying attention to the other parts of the game. You, you, you acting foolish. I have interest I owe come, come the next year. If I raise trade, I lose all of the money that I could even possibly have go towards the interest. You're not paying attention. We can't do this. Blood and stars, we can't do anything despite being in the highest office of the kingdom? Humph. <laughs> Shut up. She sighs and leaves your chambers. Tell you what you can do, you can make me a goddamn heir! Now! Please. I said please.
By royal decree, we can tweak the laws governing how people vote. Monarch's Iron Choice. The monarch can mark their preferred voting option. If chosen, they gain plus one authority. That's big. That's really good right now. Monarch's Golden Choice. If nobles vote for the monarch's choice, they gain 500 personal wealth. Now, if I do that, people will literally instantly pick whatever I pick forever. That's like an actual bribe. People love money. And then I can tax it. <laughs> Adopt. Uh, Monarch's choice doesn't fucking matter because I tell you guys my choice every time we get a fucking decision. Where's the money come from? I don't know. Uh, shut up. A bored royal. By the blood of the dead. I like waving and giving speeches with the best of them, but it wears thin after a while. I don't want to be a figurehead. That's not what I was in the East, and it's not what I'll be now. I'll give you some funds. That's not happening. Donating to charity with the money we have? Yeah, right. What I will do, though, is, uh... You're the queen concert. Being a figurehead is your job. That'll raise stability and lower defiance. Why would I not? Why would I not? That would help everything. Then I'll be the best figurehead that's ever been, if I must. Soon, she heads out on a trip to the east, where she does a huge amount of waving, smiling, and kissing babies. Yes. Yes. Yes! Everyone loses but me! Grandy L. Count L. She sold out. Even if she would have preferred to do something more useful, the Eastern commoners are keen to support her. The commoners love her, even if the counts don't. Shit. Oh, the jousting fever is still in. I regret to inform you of a jousting-related petition from the March, Your Majesty. Why the regret? It's a splendid idea. Your Majesty, we must reinstate jousting as the official justice system of the March. Trial by combat's the way it used to be, therefore court started sticking their noses in before the court started sticking their noses in let's see here except it's a healthy way to resolve disputes refuse better to stick with the courts hmm 80 percent chance to raise stability gentlemen of the barons and grandies and ladies and everyone else everything everyone all all beings observing from any faction, including ghouls of the skeleton faction of the Grandees. If there's any necromancer creatures from the Grandees that are also observing, please pay attention. If we all vote on B and we get the stability up, the counts get owned. We can all agree. We want the counts owned. And uh, you don't have the choice of voting C, so ignore that one. So with that in mind, military doesn't matter to you. But what you do know is that if we raise stability, the counts get owned. And we love seeing the counts get L's. Right? We love seeing the counts get L's. Pay us. We love seeing the counts get L's. You guys do know that A doesn't help anyone, right? You uh you do know that one's nothing. Are we are is every is every faction trying to throw now instead of win? Pay us didn't pay us. Chat. I'm not I'm going to If you continue to throw because you're not getting paid, I'm just going to keep not doing that because if you all collectively throw all the time, I'll still win and you'll continue to lose. You don't understand. I don't owe you anything. They will joust. 
The Chancellor looks skeptical, but says nothing. The parents are delighted. The march reports a, a drop in crime as the people are fearful of being impaled by lances. However, there is a sharp rise in lance-related injuries. I see. Hey, guys. Grandy's update. The ghouls are back. Guys, everyone. Everyone, let's drop everything we've been worried about. The grandees have another ghoul problem. <laughs> Dude, the barons throw every single time they get the chance to vote. It's kind of fucking sad. Like, like the barons had a fucking chance to do something that would at least help another faction, and they throw. Like, I don't know why they're even playing the game. You know what I mean? Your Majesty. We're having terrible problems in the South. The people have lost faith in the Ninth God. The churches are being left to crumble. But without priests to perform the rites, the dead are rising as ghouls from their abandoned crypts. There have been nine attacks in the last week alone. Uh, what's a ghoul? A restless corpse seeking vengeance upon the living. Ghouls can be raised by necromancers, but also rise naturally when a recently dead body is forgotten by its family and left unattended by priests. We must remind the Southern folk that they are lost without the knife to protect them, especially once they've passed. Okay. Employ the ghouls as a source of cheap labor. <laughs> now that's a fucking now that's a vote I could put some money behind. <laughs> I mean, chat. We love money. <laughs> we love money, and I'll put my money where my mouth is. Come along, everyone! Come along! Receive your money! Employ the ghouls! As cheap labor! Now, yes, many of you will be relentlessly taxed come tax season. Now, yes, most of that money will be returned to me come tax season, but you'll have it for now, and if you spend it before I can tax you, then you win. Think about it. You just have to pay it. Now, of course, we also have to roll and see if we even get the ghouls, because there's a 60% chance that we succeed, there's a 40% chance it fails. But we love guessing and taking random chances instead of actually taking guarantees. We love that. And you get paid either way. We employ the ghouls. And that's how you fucking do it. The most ingenious southern merchants set their minds to finding a use for the walking, snarling, biting undead. It proves difficult to teach them shoemaking and embroidery is a complete non-starter. In the end, the best use of ghouls turns out to be chaining them inside a giant wheel and using them for, to power a mill. They're slow but tireless. Who cares if you farmers get bitten every once in a while? Common Monarch W. Common Monarch W. Counts stay losing. Again. Even the Grandies get a little W here and there. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> they hit that on the next page. Uh, of course, the Archbishop decries it as an abomination and an offense unto the ninth. And he says the same thing about T, but he says the same thing about T on Wednesdays. Uh, the faith in the South is now zero. Uh, let's hope that that's not your next win condition, bozos. You know what I'm saying? Boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. Your Majesty, these upstarts are saying they have a right to your throne. No doubt the nobles are already scheming to crown their region's preferred claimant. Uh, Mize still has to lower the kingdom's stability to four or less. They've been... Stability's only gone up. Uh... The barons are basically a non-faction at this point. They only serve to really kind of fuck up everyone else's chances of winning. And that's fine, I guess. 
They j they're basically just like filler content. <laughs> and uh, Ernesta is um, raise other regions total defiance to at least eight. Uh, defiance has also gone down to the point where chat. It doesn't really look like anyone's going to win but the bank. <laughs> it doesn't look like anyone's going to win but the bank. I think it's going to be a like a, I'm going to get I'm going to get a loss because I couldn't it's going to be an IRSW. Oh fuck. My air. Hang on everyone, shut up. We'll sh we'll send my air to deal with it. Your quest for an heir is finally complete. You stand before the council holding a small child in your arms. Should I die, I ask that my crown be passed down onto... The council hall is filled with nervous silence. My... Child. I say this because my character doesn't care about... He didn't look at them. He's just holding a big old pile of meat right now in his hands. My creature. He didn't check. The assembled nobles break out into a polite applause. By designating an heir, you've cemented the stability of the kingdom. Oh, the counts are fucking done. Dude, counts got earned. Oh, look, Count Jakaru has fucking shown himself. He's sweating. His fist is bald like Arthur in that meme. He's upset. <laughs> And as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to get arrested by the IRS and take it away. Your Highness, may I be the first to congratulate you on the birth of your child? What is their name? Scl Sclumble a second. How exquisite, Your Highness. I'm sure little Sclumble the second will grow up to be a chip off the old block. Of course they will. I'm just stalling, because if I go to the debt collection thing, I'm going to get fucking owned. Or, I just, as the king, choose to never pay it. I don't want to- I don't know if I want to go to itching for a fight, because if it somehow bills me more, I'm fucked. I guess I can force it to not bill me by vetoing whatever tries to bill me. Your Majesty, we in the March have completed- have finished a complete reorganization of our new army. It is truly a powerful beast. Uh, is there something you want? Or since you asked, I was hoping the crown might be willing to host some military exercises. The soldiers are we restless. Uh... Well, if I do that, I'm gonna raise- Fuck. God damn it. You want me to start a war? We just need a suitable campaign to wet our swords and spears. An unbloodied army isn't worth its salt, I say. Maybe we send him to war with the bank. <laughs> Instead of a costly war, your highness, we could establish mercenary companies that fight abroad and take a healthy cut of the profit. Or your majesty wishes to gain more than gold, we should use our might as intended to make inroads to Tavalin, whose meager army will surely be no match. Dude. 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 Dude, well, first of all, uh, vetoing that. Oh, I can't do both? I will pay everyone will make money off of this. Everyone will make money. Everyone, the time is now to rise! Arise and receive your due money! Arise! Arise and receive your payment for a job well done! Arise! My fellow subjects, arise! Arise, we shall crawl out of our debt. And we shall see a new golden age. That we will. And then once they text it all back, you'll all forget this ever happened. All right, you'll all forget this ever happened. And take you all to the fucking cleaners is what I'm gonna do. All right. Wish I'd waited another five seconds before I said that, though. But it didn't matter. Get us out of here. Counts should be ashamed of voting A. <laughs> Damn, Counts. I mean, I can't speak for all Counts, but maybe some Counts accept that they're not going to be able to have my stability in the next quarter. 
All right. I mean, chat, like, here's the thing. I, like, truly, the distance every team has to travel to win is fucking immense. Like, I, all of, all of your fucking win conditions have been constantly fucking, like, immediately slapped away from you the second it pivots. Barons are doomed. So really, the best thing the Barons can do is expect that if they vote for me and follow my instructions, they will receive everything they ever wished for. That I can assure you, Barons. I will watch out for you. Okay, your military is going to lose a little bit, but that's okay. You had a lot of it to begin with. You had a lot of it. You give royal assent to the creation of new mercenary companies owned by the Barons of the March. These companies fight in Ashby and other lands. Chat, the Barons will likely get paid as well for this. Well, look at that! Well, look at that, the barons! The barons gain again! A common Baron W! And now I can pay my debt! Ah, <laughs> uh, everyone wins. Everyone wins. Greetings, your majesty. I'm here on behalf of Salvant and Gaul to collect what we are owed. You and what army? Oh, you. You owe us a grand total of 3,700 gold. I'm just gonna pay it. I know I'm back to being poor, but like for fuck's sake, man. Just make the make that go away. Dude, it's like, the problem is that dancing fever thing, the fact that the East couldn't pull their shit together for even one second financially doomed my character. Like, it, 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 I've gained $200. I'm not as poor as I was before, but the East and their fucking dancing fever literally cost me everything. You did it to us, you fucker. I did what I had to do! Deep in the south, a grandee paces back and forth along a balcony inside of his villa. I'm told that progress is slow. How could they be so blind trusting in that fool of a king after everything he's done? But believe it or not, people actually trust me more than they did last year. Like, <laughs> like I'm, ac I'm actually, like, people like me more. The Grandee's aim is to raise other regions combined defiance to eight or more, or ensure other regions start a rebellion. Never gonna happen, man. Never gonna happen. Funding time, chat. We got a lot of people with a lot of money, and if I were you, I would fucking spend it. Because once tax season comes back around, you are getting fucking thrashed, and you might as well get some write-offs on the board. Okay? So here's what we have this time. Barons can raise authority. They can also raise- they can lower military. Counts can lower stability. Theater can lower authority. Aqueduct, raise farming. Deer Park, raise farming. All I'm going to say is this, grandees and barons. If that prison gets made, it really won't affect anything, but it's going to, it's going to make you look like fools. The best option for everyone is probably to like dunk on me hard with the monument or not the monument the uh, theater if I were you I'm gonna guess that's what you're gonna fucking do or I'm not an idiot it's probably to dunk on me just get it over with just get it over with spend all your money get it out of the way already I already know what you're all gonna vote for hell I could close the vote early this time but I won't, because most of you are going to continue to pour your money into it without uh, realizing that it doesn't matter if there's no competition and you're just going to lose, uh, what is that, already 140,000 gold uh, without even realizing the overspending. No takesies backsies on that. No takesies backsies counts. Look at the counts go. Diamond hands, chat. You gotta have diamond hands out here, chat. You gotta have diamond hands.
The authority is low. But it's not enough to... God damn, dude. So much money gone. Now you just have to bring it down by another three. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Dude, I'm going to inflate the economy. I don't fucking care at a certain point. This won't leave me alone. Like, I haven't been enough options to like fucking make it back. I'm going to literally like print more money. Well, I gotta take care of that first or I won't have any money to do anything else. The treasury is almost empty, your highness. Yeah? Again? Dude. Uh, I own the Royal Mint. I'm gonna make more money. The Royal Mint begins churning out new coins, allowing you to pay off several old debts. That'll never come back to bite me, because by the time it does, I'll be dead. Chad, it's okay. I just gotta finish the game before that happens. My ambition. At the start of your reign, you said you want to be an architect of a new golden age. But so far, you've not convinced anyone. The kingdom's trade is still lackluster, your majesty. Golden age, more like bronze or maybe copper. It is kind of a shame that it boosts defiance, despite the fact that, um... That only really benefits one team. But still not enough for them to uh, actually activate their win condition. Your ambition isn't working out for you. If you want to stop the nobles from overthrowing, you need to pivot. Change your approach. Some advisors have some other ideas. We should crush these disloyal nobles, smash their armies, and force them to submit. Your Majesty, if you help us spread the zeal of the Ninth God, the Church will send its full support. With the backing of the Church, the nobles won't dare move against you. The common folk are a sleeping giant that even the nobles are afraid to wake. If you become beloved by the peasants, the nobles won't dare overthrow you out of fear for revolution. Here's another idea! Declare war on the Ashmedian Empire! The nobles will forget their schemes if you win! Hmm. Farming and military. Authority and faith. Stability and farming. Authority and military. Chat, there's truly nothing I want more in this world than making sure the Counts never win. Why? Because you guys have been the most nasty in chat all the time. Always nasty. Always nasty. Mean-spirited. And this is one thing you can't vote on. Only because you're nasty. Yeah, but you gotta be nasty when someone else is nasty. Mm, but my authority is low. My authority is low. Hmm. So here's the thing. I think even still I have to raise my authority because I can't leave it to chance that you guys vote to raise my authority when you know that you want it to fucking go down. And if I do the faith one, I no one else gains from that. A wise decision, your majesty. I'll send word to my priest, but of course, you need to be worry. You need to be worthy. Your priority to raise your authority and overall fa I'm sorry, could this have explained that? Chad, I will literally alt F4 the game right now and reset this decision. Because that's the dumbest thing ever that doesn't Nope. I'm actually gonna alt F4 it and reset the decision. Because it doesn't it did not explain that to me. Nope. Reset. Cheater, back down king. Uh, chat, no, I didn't actually perceive the uh, decision it was asking me, and I'm. Uh, this game's been running long enough. I'm going to actually pick the thing that makes sense for the decision I was trying to make. Uh, that's wild. It literally did. Oh. Uh, I hope it saved everything. 
Come on, everyone, back in. Everyone back in, come on. Sign back in. Come on, everyone. Yeah, sorry, chat, you can say whatever you want. I'm not gonna uh, pick that and let that ride if I genuinely misunderstood it. Even if I did miss it in the text, that would be so wildly unfun for me. Hopefully it doesn't shuffle anyone's uh, teams. But then again, it's not like any of you are going to win anyways. It should save your teams. That's what the ex that's what the uh, extensions for is. So it remembers that stuff, I'm assuming. Otherwise, the game would be fundamentally busted. I'll give everyone a couple minutes to get back in, though. Sorry, I'm, I, I, like, I, I get why people are fucking invested or whatever, but like the idea of picking something that literally loses the game and changes the entire fucking thing of it is uh, absurd. Besides, it might have still locked it in anyways, which would be really, like that would honestly really bum me out, dude. <laughs> That would really bum me out if it saved it there. Cause that's like, that is actually a, like, br that's bricking the game for me. I think it should have been clearer uh, about what was actually going on there. Okay, once everyone's, once everything's at a, uh, a little bit higher, I'll toss this back in, but you can join in the middle, so it's not a big deal. You can always bribe us the money. No, chat, you don't understand. Like, that, I had two, like, I picked something that was the two lowest things I had that didn't matter to me because I, because they were things I'd been tanking the whole time, but they didn't matter. I picked something that I was basically a dump stat. Like, if that goes through, the game's over. Like, like it's not a, it's not a stat I've been caring about at all. Those are my win conditions for the rest of the game. Like that's an instant lose. I might as well restart the game if that saved. All right. Okay, good. It didn't save. All right. Woo. Okay. We're good, we're good. So everything goes up. Your current ambition is working out. If you want to stop the nobles from overthrowing, you need to pivot. Change your image. Other advisors have some ideas. See, the way I interpreted this chat was that this was an opportunity for me to try to pivot, like push up my stats that I wanted higher for my ambition. I didn't think my character's ambition was going to change. I thought this was an opportunity for me to get a boost that would align with my ambitions. Was what I, it was how I perceived it. So this is actually me changing my ambitions. So let's see here. Authority and faith was literally the worst thing I could have picked. Authority and military also down stability and farming. Two, five, seven. Farming and military. We get into farming. We're gonna get, we're gonna get into farming. Well, no. Nah, mm. I'm trying to think of what, because either way, no matter which one of these I pick, whether it's stability in farming or farming in military, I'm going to be dealing with an opposing faction that wants to, like, get it down. Hmm. Well, the thing I do know is that the barons have surrendered to the idea that they'll never win, and I think that's just realistic. <laughs> Come on, barons. Uh, it's not going to change anytime soon. So, come on. How about you back me up and we get everyone's military up so at least I can win? You know? Or, alternatively, barons... 
Maybe I'll back you up on the military thing if you guys meet me out here in dealing with the stability thing. Because I have some goons that want to bring down my stability. Okay? I've got some goons. If, if Baron, Barons, if you guys fucking back me up, all right, when it comes to stability votes, I will actually try to help you tank military to get past the first phase of your victory condition. I can't promise future phases, but I will at least try to give you options that get you back into the game. Because you have been stuck in phase one the whole time. All right? I will do that for you. All right. I'm going to pick stability and farming. Because I, I, either way, I can't do either of the authority ones. We don't have a chance. All right. Stability and farming. A wise decision, your majesty. We'll begin recruiting town criers to shout about your achievements to the masses. But first, you need some actual achievements. Your priority is to raise your kingdom's stability and overall farming as much as you can. And of course, there can't be open rebellion among the houses. Okay. Speaking of crops and farming... Ah! <laughs> the harvest in the east has been another disaster! Look at this turnip! Don't point that thing at me. The turnip is riddled with rot and twisted into a grotesque shape of a skull. Half the harvest is like this. We need to help if we're going to get through the winter. Thank God I printed money. Hmm. It's probably nothing to worry about. Absolutely not. Raid other regions' granaries to support the counts. Or raid granaries and send scholars to investigate. Well, I know for a fact, okay, that I don't want fucking A or B. So what I'll do is I'll put my money where my mouth is, because we all like that. And I'll say that I'm going to send scholars and raid the granaries for the counts. And I'll put money on the line. Money is on the line. We raid everything. We raid. We raid it all. Take everything. And send people to find out what's wrong. Raid. 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 Get in there, everyone. Raid it all. Very good. Yeah, I have to definitely assume that the golden choice uh, law is the most powerful fucking law in the game. Uh, easily. I, I can't imagine one of them being stronger than that one. It's like the only one that gives actual incentive. Thank you, your majesty. A most fair judgment. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> okay, so good news is... Uh, the grandees were the, the it wasn't the counts that got upset it was just the grandees in the march so they haven't completely pushed through to their thing yet but we got to lower the defiance down and the grandees are going to actually get a w the nobles grumble farming is so fucked dude i can't believe that happened you also sent dozens of scholars to the unit from the university to examine the fields in the east hopefully they can identify the cause to prevent this from happening again that's good that's at least something We still need these up more, don't we? If the grandees want to win. The defiance needs to be up at like a total of above four? No, above eight. It's got to be like a total of eight. It's got to be like some insane thing. So the grandees are still a long way away. But I think I need to lower the grandees defiance. Tax season, tax season. Tax season. I decide today that there will be no taxes on anyone because I printed $10,000 and I'm kind of more worried about the repercussions of that. So I don't really want to make anyone angry right now. Uh, I'm just going to hang on to that money and just tax the common folk. The nobles, the rich nobles will not receive any 
taxes this year. Oh boy. Mercenary income. Swing by it. Oh, hell yeah. Your Highness, I have good news. Those mercenary companies that we let loose into the wild, they're still returning profits. What a wonderful investment. Do I get any of that? Of, oh, yeah, of course, Your Highness. Here. Please, take it. The barons receive money. The question remains, my liege, whether or not we call it quits. Why would we do that? We sent them to Ashby in order to blood them. They've more than proven themselves. We could bring them back home and have them train our military with their expertise. Or we could put them back to work with the expectation of future profits. Uh, well, I know I'm going to veto the option that has a lower chance of me succeeding. Of those two. I know I'm going to veto that. You can't not vote on the one thing. Maintain the mercenary companies as they are. So this is how I lose authority. A damn shame this happened to me. A damn shame this is how I go down. People just kind of think I'm a goof. People just kind of think I'm a goof. People just laugh at me. It's gonna be fine. Woo! Yeah! 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 Woo! The mercenaries continue their successful campaigns throughout Ashmead and beyond. A steady stream of income finds its way back to the kingdom with little effort on your part, keeping both you and the barons happy. I'm not clicking on that. Unless they're laughing at me because they love me. <laughs> now the question is, are they laughing at me because they love me? I don't know which one's better to start with, because, like, I need people to like me. I think we do ambition last. Your Majesty, the acclaimed pr playwright Percival Sullivan has written another smash hit. All the theaters in the capital are showing it nightly. Oh, I love that. So do I. So does everyone. But the problem is that the new play features a character obviously based on you. I don't like where this is going. The character is played by a professional clown named Biffo. At one point, a bucket of custard is upended over his head as he sits on the throne. chat i know that the right move is to go watch this fucking play but i know that in the in the context of my current stats that's gonna lower my authority even more what i think i need to do is kill percival sullivan i need to kill percival sullivan which will raise defiance, but it will also simultaneously raise my authority. But then it fucks stability. Dude, I would rather lose the game than let the counts win. Do you understand me? I would rather lose the game. Let me be clear, all three factions, Okay, all of you. I would sooner let my character fully die than allow anyone to fully win this game. Okay? All of them. I'll do whatever it takes to flail around and stall. I'll attend to play myself. A shocked silence befalls the theater as heralds announce your arrival. You wave at the royal box as the actors stare up at you, clearly horrified. <laughs> okay, this might actually be a power play. What are you waiting for? 
A play begins. Soon enough, the Clown King arrives on stage, comedically tripping on his own robes. They somehow found an actor who looks just like you. Endless humiliations are heaped on this honking, squeaking parody. Finally, the play concludes with the custard-drenched king handing his crown to the deserving hero. All eyes turn to you. How do you react? Get up there. The actors shrink away from you. The audience are deadly silent. Everyone's terrified at what you'll do next. Dude, if I congratulate the actors right now, okay, I couldn't scurry. If I con if I congratulate the actors on the hilarious play, my authority is gone. Like that's like a minus five authority. People think I'm an actual doofus. My only option is to arrest and kill every single person that's ever seen this movie. Even though the correct option is to congratulate the authors and the actors and everyone. I think I have to actually joke a moment and like take them all down. I have to arrest everyone. <gasps> Dude, chat, I had to. If I didn't pick that, I was going to do I was going to get to minus 0. I was going to get to 0 authority. That was going to be a minus 2. Chat, we all need to understand if stability goes down one more, the counts have activated their next phase. We need to raise stability back up. After the play, after that, the play is never shown again. You're forced to expand your dungeon significantly. Good. Let them rot. Your Majesty, the common folk are swayed. As easy as a dandelion in a gale, I'm confident that we can make them adore you. This will be the biggest public relations campaign the kingdom has ever seen. It's all about the PR optics, you see. You're, you'll tour the kingdom giving speeches. Town criers will declaim your great deeds from every corner. Can't we do things to actually help people? The nobles would never accept it. You need to secure your hold on power, then you can pass whatever reforms you like. We're helped by the fact that the kingdom is harmonious. It's important that we keep it that way. And we must also fi keep something else in mind. A hungry peasant is never happy with their king. The land is hardly bountiful right now, your majesty. That must change. Your goal is to raise the kingdom's overall stability and farming as much as you can. Fuck. Of the three factions that are still in the game, no offense to anyone. I'd rather see the barons win than anyone else because they've had the most fucking consistent fumbles the whole time. Okay. Hmm. I like reverse voting, but I don't think it's ever going to come up. I think I'm going to take iron choice. And get rid of re reverse voting. Because I think reverse voting is just going to fuck me one day. I think Iron Choice could at least help me. Okay, hopefully we gain something from this. The scholars you said to investigate the strange harvest in the east have finally returned. All of our tests came back negative. The blighted fields were dozens of miles apart, often with completely different crops. We only found one thing in common. Yes? The plowshares. They're all forged from iron from the same mine, owned by Count Woodnymph. But that couldn't be the cause. It's impossible. Servants, bring Count Woodnymph here, would you? What's the meaning of this interruption, Your Majesty? I was in the middle of brunch. Have you noticed anything unusual in your iron mine? The ore has been odd recently. The miners say they hear whispering in their minds and they, when they pull it out from the rocks, that kind of thing. And you didn't tell anyone. Miners are a superstitious lot, Your Majesty. They're constantly complaining about ghosts and ghouls and all matter of bogarts in the tunnels. We're going to inform the council. Don't make me close. Please, 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 please don't make me close down my mind. Oh, please don't make me close down my mind. Damn, man, calm down. <laughs> Chat. I have decided. We will send ore to the university for examination. Specifically because I don't want the Defiance to go up and let Grandies get any closer to winning. I have decided to veto this decision. I don't want to leave it to chance. 
we sent the I sent the scholars in specifically because I, I knew that there would be like an option to do more research on this. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep following that line. Yes. We shall send it. I will fetch a sample at once, your majesty. Very good. Dangerous roads. Your majesty, the merchants in the south are complaining about bandits. The southern roads are too dangerous to travel, even with guards. Gangs of highly organized, well-armed skeletons <laughs> have risen, the saints of the dead. Okay. I mean, that sounds like a grandee's problem. You guys have, like, common L's all the time out here. Uh... Well-armed highwaymen will ambush merchant caravans and steal absolutely everything. I don't care about trade anymore. So I know that's not anything. Well, let it be known, barons, that I will put a vote on something I, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a golden choice down. I'm gonna put a golden choice down, so because I don't want them to get their military up, which would just fuck up the barons. Okay, I'm not going to help the I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fucking ruin the barons any more than they already are. All right, I'm not gonna do that. I'm also not gonna raise defiance. Yeah, right. Yeah, fucking right. I say that we offer a bounty on the bandits. A, a bounty on the bandit scalps. I offer a bounty on the bandit scalps. For 500 gold, you vote for it, you make money. Barons. Wake the hell up, Barons. I get why the Grandies are voting for B, but the rest of you, I'm not so fucking sure. I mean, it doesn't hurt me regardless. Oh, wait, it does, because the Grandies have a high fucking defiance. Everyone else in chat fucking fell asleep at the wheel, dude. They fell asleep at the wheel. I guess the Counts are so afraid that they can't win that they're going to help the Grandies instead. A few weeks later, here from the South, the bandit problem is worse. Well, trade's doing better somehow. The South has become mutinous. Hey. Now I get why the Grandies wanted that. But I'm not entirely sure why everyone else would. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why some barons voted for that. Ah, uh, that doesn't that doesn't do anything. Matter of fact, I watched the barons that would have actually guaranteed the other option one vote against it anyways the exact number now why would i help the barons ever again when i call on them and they don't do anything why would i not simply continue to help the barons along their way of catching as many l's as physically possible keep your nobles in line damn it hurry up your majesty you have another speech to give Get me my fancy robes. Get the king his fancy robes. You hustle down onto the palace balcony where below a sea of expectant unwashed faces gaze upon you. Ugh. As you step out of view, they erupt in cheers. Hats are thrown in the air. Someone faints with joy. Every, everywhere you've gone, you've met the same reception. The public like you. They really like you. Okay, but you need to turn that into love. 
This is kind of fucked up because it's just a 50% chance that instantly the counts get their next win condition. Oh, I didn't actually lose anything. I just didn't gain anything. Okay. I thought I'd lose. I was more worried about losing something than gaining. And. 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 One of your regions are about to rebel as the defined stat is higher than both authority and stability. Oh, wait, hang on. If the rebels get more victory points than the loyalists, they win the game. If the loyalists get more victory points than the rebels, they'll turn down the rebellion and continue the game. If multiple regions rebel and win, a vote between the two rebelling regions with the highest stats will determine the successor. Important, rebelling regions have their schemes paused. Regions with a high military stat are more likely to overthrow the monarch in a rebellion. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what... It, they're on the verge. But I don't see that actually giving them anything to do yet. Maybe it's next season. Okay, they're voting to rebel. Do I just let that play out? I don't want to like ski, like speed through it. So if I drop their defiance though or raise my stability, the rebellion gets canceled. Is that how this works? Hyperinflation. Well, it's a good thing they're overrun by bandits. Let's go ahead and tank some stuff for them. Every day more bandits attack our roads in the south. We are overrun by scoundrels and outlaws. I've looked into this, your majesty. A leader of sorts has emerged from among the rabble. For now, the lawless scum do his bidding. He calls himself Thomas Greensleeves. He claims to steal from the rich and give to the poor by the ninth. Have you ever heard such nonsense? The local villagers idolize him. They're singing ballads about him, turning him into a legend. They won't hesitate to let this man hide amongst them when the sheriff comes knocking. Who cares who he is? We need to kill him and teach the others a lesson. Shut the fuck up. Shut the hell up. All other players of counts and barons, this is your call to arms. If we don't do this together, you all lose. This is a this is a genuine you all lose scenario. And there is only one option. There is only one option. We have to place a hefty bounty on Thomas Greensleeve's head with our overinflated treasury income that has no value. We have to place a random chance bounty on A. We must. We must. The time is now to show the grandees that we will not just let them walk all over us with their bullshit meta crap. We can't let them do it. I would sooner let either faction win than the grandees just because the grandees got really big heads about it and it kind of pissed me off. This is my declaration that if we stomp down the grandees' rebellion, I will make sure their life is a living fucking hell for the rest of days. That I can assure you. Very good. Defiance still went up, despite all of that. But, my authority went up as well. Nobody comes forward to claim your bounty. Thomas Greensleeves and his jovial jack and apes grow bolder by the day, even attacking grandees in their carriages. It's ironic because the grandees are also like, thin Chat, canonically, you're getting killed. You are not the no- you are nobles. This is a rebel, like, this is a rebel within the rebels that is, like, robbing you. Okay, so what's this about a famine? <laughs> Hello, your majesty. I traveled all the way to the march to beg you to do something about the price of grain. Okay, I love to see it. 
I can't afford to feed my family. I love getting owned by random chance. I can't afford to feed my family. A day of backbreaking work isn't enough to buy a day's worth of bread. She's right. The grain price of the march is beyond all control. Greedy merchants rake in the... Wait a minute. Hang on. Wait a minute. What if... Okay. I throw the win to the counts. Now, barons, let's think about this. I don't want the grandees to win because they they got fucking real big heads about it the second they started a rebellion. I want the barons to win their tomato. I mean, yeah, I do too, but guys, like, look at... You guys haven't even made it past phase one. Like, mathematically, you literally have no chance. Like, I'm sorry. It just, ha it just hasn't been your day. I'm not saying it's gonna happen. I'm just saying, you know... I... Chat, we are going to import grain specifically from the south let's take their food let's take the grandees food we will vote c and we will take their food from them they haven't rebelled yet they can't stop us let's go folks the time is now to claim their food <laughs> they will not be able to rebel without food arise You'll get paid if you vote for it. You'll make $500. You will make $500 on top of the vote. Catch up, man. Come on, see, dude. I'll, uh, please, dude. Man, you guys are fools, dude. What have you done? I mean, I guess this works for the Count's winning. The free market will correct itself in due time. It's all about the free market. Stability is now unstable. While you wait, famine ravages the march as the price of grain continues to escalate. It's just, the one thing that's kind of frustrating to me about this game is that it quite literally feels like the second I picked a pivot in a new direction, I got every single bad thing that could happen in that direction. And that's like, I guess the price you pay for playing an RNG based game. It's like, there's not really, this isn't really like a, it's all RNG. So I'm not like upset about it, but like, don't be a baby. My guy, I just said, I'm not upset about it. Relax. <laughs> I'm having fun. Chill. I will remind you again that if people start getting like annoyingly into it, I will never play it again. Like as a, as a reminder, I did it with Hitman. I'll do it a thousand more times. Don't get too into it now. Uh, all right, hyperinflation. As you ordered your majesty, the Royal Mint has churned out thousands of new coins using cheap gold-like materials. The treasury is technically replenished. Uh, I sense a butt coming. But it's also devaluing the currency across the kingdom. A loaf of bread now costs a hundred times more than used to. Oh, well. It's gonna be hard for anyone to rebel when they're all poor. Uh, sounds like a load of not my problem, though. Now, let's see here. Adopt a foreign currency. <laughs> Everyone, I have a good idea. What if... We adopt a foreign currency. <laughs> this looks like an L for everyone, but I can tell you one thing that I will veto for all of us. Wait a minute. Why the hell would I veto that when now I can, I'm gonna veto A. I don't want the farms to go down again. Your choice is a simple chat. Either you adopt a foreign currency or or you fucking take a massive dip into all of your money. What'll it be?
Oh, do go on. Chat. Gotta make barons eligible for rebellion. You guys are so- it's like the only chance you guys have. If everyone rebels, then there's still a chance people can all rise and kill each other. That'll be fun. Okay, stuff's gotten really bad for me. Uh, the South is pretty much, uh, donezo, uh, with me. That's kind of a shame. It's a good thing most of your citizens can't read Ash Median because you're pretty sure each coin is inscribed with records of past military victories over your own kingdom. I'm gonna be fine. Next season's gonna be my season, dude. Two cats being on the outskirts of a barren farm, wind whipping at their long cloaks. Good news from the capital, my friend. Well, bad news, but good for us. Oh yes, fires, wanton murder, giant spiders. All that and more, the fabric between worlds is tearing thin. The time is ripe to summon a demon. Which honored guest should we invite? Ray's own trait. I don't think the Counts even have a fucking chance unless they just lower own faith. I mean, I think it's over. I think the game's over. I think the Grandees win by, rev uh, by uh, revolt at the end of this. I think the Grandies win by revolt this round. They shall bring Ankarazad, Lord of Dismay, the seventh god, smile. Ankarazad will never break through while the church has its claws in the hearts of the people. They'll have to lower the faith to one or less. That's wild. Deep in the south, in the back garden of a sun-bleached villa, a number of grandees crowd around a figure raising their arms in a toast. Here's to the future Queen Ernesta, the golden age of our, on our horizon. May the ninth god strike down the false king, king for his wickedness. Soon the Inquisition will be complete. The archbishop will own, will crown our claimant. But what shall be done with the king? Burn him at the stake, of course. Show mercy in exchange for abdication. Guys, come on. Damon, Saturday cartoon. You guys are all right. You guys are all right. But honestly, you should probably vote for A, because once the re revolution starts and you guys enter a lawless realm where there is no rules anymore and you all kill each other, you at least want to make sure your name isn't on the short list of targets when you're all tearing each other to shreds. All right. History typically points to most people post-revolution getting ripped to shreds and killed and hung as well. So good luck, boys. <laughs> most of everyone here is done. We're all dead. It's just a matter of how fast. Don't care, LOL. A glorious way to usher in the new queen, I say. The ninth god will surely be pleased. First, the king's grip on the kingdom must be at an all-time low. We wouldn't want to face any backlash from our little fireworks show, would we? For the final stage of their scheme, the grandees must keep stability at one or less for one full season. Chet, if we get the library open right now, if everyone else pays for the library, the grandees don't win the game. We all just have to pay for things that are not F. That's all you have to do. If everyone needs to put all their money into B and E. B and E. If you don't want to see the grandees end the game right now and therefore the stream. B and E. But it looks like we're not doing E, so just put it all into B. Put it all into B. Don't do, don't do E. Don't do E. You're burning money. Put it into B. Everything in B. We don't want it to go to zero. <laughs> that would be, we will at least break even. If we go to zero, we are doomed.
Oh, now that's a fucking, now that's a building I wish they'd fucking make. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Oh, hell yeah. All right. We'll break even. All right. A kingdom is in rebellion. The first side to earn five victory points will win. Victory points are earned through events. If the rebels are victorious, the monarch is overthrown. Is everyone rebelling now? Is that how it's going to be? What happens if everyone rebels? Then everyone's still fighting for their own team to win, right? I'm not sure why it puts it to a vote, at least with, like, huge audiences like this, because of course people are gonna fucking vote to rebel. I'm not sure why it's a vote. Rebellion. At long last, the Grandees have reached their boiling point. You are confronted in the throne room by Grandee Commander Letty and his eyes alight with righteous fury. The Ninth God has judged you unworthy, pretender to the throne, and the Grandees of the South have listened. We will rise up and fight for Ernesta, the true king, queen. This is a formal declaration of war, and next time we see each other, it'll be on the- Hey, guys, can we kill this guy now? Mods, ban them in the chat. Mods, uh, time out Commander Letty for 24 hours. Like, just get him. Like, right now. Why would you walk in? Thank you. What were you? F what a foolish thing to do! <laughs> Dude, it's like the game. The game definitely has a snowballing issue. I <laughs> would say <laughs> I've had quite a lot of fun, but it's got an unreal snowball issue. <laughs> like I have no chance of recovering once a fucking revolt happens. I'm doomed. Oh, there. Oh, it can't go any higher. You say? <laughs> There will be many heads on spikes before this war is over. Mine will not be among them. They'll let him go. I don't fucking care. How did things get this bad? Uh, let's see. The reason for the uprising, he's citing your past transgressions, maybe your adoption of a foreign currency in the kingdom. Uh, urge to murder rising. Yes, your majesty. Hold on to that feeling. You'll need it. What are our chances? The grandees are formidable. I don't think if- Why am I even reading this? Everyone's rebelling. <laughs> Everyone's rebelling. None of it matters anymore. The game's over. <laughs> the game's over. Why am I still reading dialogue for these useless communications? I did pretty well. Chat, for my first time though, I did pretty good. It's just- It's no- The second that it asked me a new- fucking like root like a ambition it gave me famine cursed lands horrible tragedy all in the same year and the dancing plague fucked me as far as money was concerned we've had the most extraordinary findings blah 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 blah, blah. who fucking cares anymore just skip it, it the game's over I, I i lost I lost. None of these votes matter. I just want to see how it plays out for everyone else at this point with their games. Like the three other, the three factions. Uh, let's see here. Allow the scholars to continue experimenting on the cursed ore. Rebury the ore. And collapse the mine on top of it. Okay. Now hold on a second, chat. If we all vote for B but the grandees, okay... Either the Barons or the Count's Rebellion will win instead. Come on, boys! What we can still do is make sure the Grandees fucking lose, dude! Let's go! Come on, Barons! Everyone, let's go! Fuck the Grandees! Come on, Counts! Like I said... Oh, they're not even voting anymore. Oh, it's just us here. <laughs> They don't play anymore. I forgot. All right, guys, it's just us. Everyone just like, come on, let's, you'll get paid. It's not even real money. It's Monopoly money, none of it matters. Come on. It'll get me enough stability to postpone the inevitable. 
very good. Guys, stop getting mad. Come on. <laughs> guys, guys, come on. Let's relax. Come on, guys. Kingdom stability back to turbulent. We're gonna be okay. There's not gonna be no. We're not. Gonna, no one's gonna be rebelling. Everyone, just calm down. The kingdom is blackened by faithlessness and dishonor. The ninth god is weeping at what we become. Whose fault is that? King Sklumpo, the mad tyrant, says Grandee Zep seventy three. Alas, you're right, but we have no choice but to raise our banners and march on the capital and install a better ruler, someone like Noble Ernesta. But first, let's work out our opening move. Pray to the ninth, let him help us decide. We can launch a preemptive strike against the barons to cripple their military capabilities. If we suspect the counts may join our cause, we can call them to war. They'll be likely to join us if the king's authority is low. We can also call upon the church to condemn the king, or finally, you could send off an assassin to nip this in the bud. Okay, so you guys are voting. This is exclusively the grandees. Come on, yeah, get the counts in so you guys can, so the counts can take second fiddle to uh, the grandees forever. I don't know, counts. All I'm saying is they're the ones voting it. You guys don't have to accept their terms. You're going to be revolting next session, next day anyways. I don't know if I would join them. Wouldn't you rather summon a demon? <laughs> Defiance challenge succeeded. The grandees smuggle a secret message to the counts. Dignified counts, too long have you suffered under the king's oppression. You Easterners are a proud people. Why are you putting up with this tyrant? Join us. He speaks truthfully. Why did we ever, why did we never think of things this way? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. You know what? My son, my child, it will rise again. <laughs> my child will rise again. Okay, just finish the game already. How much longer is this going to go? Because, like, I love <laughs> the game is over. Far away, a small castle near the kingdom. I don't, I just don't care. I just, it doesn't, they're in rebellion. I don't need to. I don't need to care anymore. The game's over. What the fuck? <laughs> it doesn't matter. We finally finished one. <laughs> Who cares? The barons, even in this three-way rebellion war, stability's up. At last, I can fucking retire. Your marshal staggers into the throne room, stinking of booze. She gives you a lopsided grin. Heard the news? Good news, I hope. The marshal roars with laughter, slapping her thigh. Good news, good news, he says. Counts have sent word they're joining the rebellion against you, your majesty. All three regions have turned on you. You know what that means, right? No. It means we are royally, no pun intended, screwed. The capital garrison couldn't take one of the regions single-handed, let alone all three. Historically, the king of the kingdom has only survived by playing the regions against each other to unite them all in common cause. Their hatred of you, well, it's no f mean feat. You're absolutely unmatched when it comes to pissing people off, your majesty, a world beater. Well, it's good to know I'm good at something. Consider this my resignation. There's no fun in an unwinnable war. She leaves. Next few days, you wait for the end to come. The united armies of the rebels sweep to the crown lands meaning barely any resistance along the way. Soon they're camped in a vast mass outside the capital. Against such overwhelming numbers, your walls can't hold out. The ladders go up, the enemy soldiers pour in. As dawn rises, okay, they, they won. They, they fucking kill me already. With a triumphant smirk, Grandee Danger Fawns makes a sharp gesture. Southern soldiers step forward, swords at the ready. Uh, may the ninth God have mercy on your soul, sinner. I'm gonna punch this dude in the fucking nose so hard that it looks all weird and silly for the rest of his life, and that'll be my final W. Empty hands can do little against armor and swords. You're given a vicious beating, and the fight drains out of you. Instead of killing you, the soldiers seize you and drag you down to the dungeon. Your ordeal isn't over. Oh, yeah? Apparently, the counts, grandees, and barons are actually fighting over your vacant throne. Hang on, here we go! It's not over yet! They still have to fight amongst each other! They forgot to fucking kill me! <laughs> they forgot to kill me. Well, good luck ruling the kingdom, fuckers. Good luck, bozos. Have fun. Have fun doing it yourself, idiots. 
The grandees and barons are the strongest, richest, and have the most support from the church, so the throne will go to one of them. After a week of rotting in your own dungeon, you're marched onto a public platform, cheered at by thousands of peasants. You cringe under a barrage of rotting fruit and fresh dung. You can see Grandee Danger Fawn sitting in the front row, grinning. The rebels have won. The capital's been taken. You are a former king. Oh, you had to tell me that a week later? Dude, you are really fumbling the ball here. You think you needed to tell me that again? Really, man? The executioner waits silently, holding an axe bigger than you. If you have any last words, now's the time. Well, I'll be heading off then. You place your head on the block, the executioner lifts his massive axe. Wait, you suddenly thought of much better last words. You turn to the executioner to tell him, but the axe is already falling. Dunk! Your head bounces into the grandee Danger Fonz's lap, and your reign comes to a gruesome end. So who's gonna be the successor anyways? Come on, Barons! Let's get the Barons a W! Come on, this is gonna be the curveball we've been fucking waiting for! Barons and Counts, arise! Come on! Fuck the Grandees! They can go to hell! I'd rather see anyone win. This is the moment underdogs for life, never a W. Never won! Never won W. And really, that's the best thing ever, because the only way I can really imagine an even slight win on my side is making sure that the fucking bozo barons that barely won a single thing without me fucking helping them limp to the finish line gets the crown. Because at least then, as a ghost, I can watch on as they continue to fumble the ball all the way to their own fucking graves in the next year and a half. Good luck, guys. By the way, the plague still there by the way the famine still active didn't really fucking fix it i kind of left that for you guys i left a lot of stuff on the table by the way the inflation fuck you i did that too i left you a lot of shit to clean up probably won't be able to do it and then uh what it, what the fuck is the name of that place ash fucking whatever'sville is gonna come in and kill you all in about a year good luck <laughs> good luck <laughs> you guys are fucked yes man You're supposed to be happy for us, Tomato. Dude, I had fun. This was fun. <laughs> this was fun. I had fun.